calling the meeting to order. Uh, thanks everybody for being here and being patient with us while we wrap up our executive session. Um, we came out of executive session and we said what time? It was 7.05 and we have nothing to report at this time. Okay, uh, is there any public comment for items not on the agenda? Okay, the warrants are circulating for signature. Are, are there any additions and changes to the agenda? Please. I just have a question and I'm not sure where it was going to fall under. I thought I would bring it up when Jeremy was supposed to meet with us, um, but he wasn't available. What is the town office, not the cage locked up space, but is the town office space available for small commission board such and such meetings? To select board decision. I think that this is the monitor from the town office, but if somebody wanted to have a Zoom, because the Zoom, having a Zoom here, as we all experience, is awful. So if somebody wanted to meet in the town office and do a Zoom because the acoustics are better, is the town office open for business? So your question is notwithstanding the so understanding this is this was moved apparently? I think I think this is the okay. one that was over there, remember was the top of the yep. style cabinets. So if people wanted to meet in the town office in Zoom, it would be like on their own personal laptop or right. whatever. Right. But still it's still better than here acoustic wise. I don't so I if mean, it's if it's a formal select board decision, then we could okay, so we can't do it tonight then. We can't warn it. But we can we could say out loud what we think. I mean, I can't imagine we opened the town hall. We signed. We don't have a COVID reason where I'm headed, right? There's no COVID no, right now. COVID it could. Reason. I mean, it could. I mean, it has spike. Sure. Again, and I know that the office staff, because there's some people with some health issues, are concerned. Oh, right. Um, well, why do so we want to be sensitive to that? So I guess we should probably. Well, we would do it. We would have it. When they're not there, I, I thought you meant evenings. Yeah, evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, the yeah. staff aren't there. Right. So I mean, we should warn it because people will have yeah, opinions. Yeah. Right. We would warn it for a decision either way. But it yeah. sounds like we should warn it for discussion. Right. Okay. Yeah. A discussion and yeah, and an action item, hopefully. Okay. So that will be hopefully yeah. on the next agenda. Can we do that on the thirteenth? Uh, we can try. Try to squeeze it in. Well, some of the, yeah, because we have a lot of stuff on that for that night, and I have, I, but let's, well, we may, we might do it on the 13th if we can fit it on the agenda. Yeah. Depending on what else is there. Okay. All right, so anything else, of additions, changes to the agenda? Or no, we already did that. Uh, I, other, yeah, I, additions, um, changes to the agenda or public comment. <coughs> anything else on anything mind? Okay. Ed, are you here for the, you have something you were specifically here for? I want to hear a conversation about a reappraisal. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured you were here for. Yep. Uh, okay, so... I love the character. <laughs> he, can't, he can't help himself. He can't help himself. We have, um, actually, we don't have the reappraisal on from the agenda. On the agenda. No, it's not. It's not on here. It's, it's on. The planning commission stuff is on. Well, yeah, do you have a question during the public comment? you want to ask a question about that? Well, my... Sorry. No, no, that's okay. It just occurred to me, Ed, the, the reappraisal was on the last meeting agenda and it's not on for tonight. I thought it was on. Why? No, this is for bylaws. There's a planning commission oh, item, but you, I don't have to tell you that's different than Lister's. Yeah. You might have saw Jan's name and think it was reappraisal. No, I, my, my wife read the agenda and that's where I, where I got it from, so. Last meeting agenda. Okay. So, so we are moving into consent agenda, agenda, which includes minutes from the last meeting, which once we've approved them, I will be happy to hand you my copy to read through if you feel like it. So let's move into the consent agenda. So we'll, well, I was suggesting the public comment period. Oh, just the way so Ed could. Oh. Ask his question. Oh, do you want to ask a question? Here, my only, my only comment was this: is that, in what I read, it said something about trying to do a reappraisal, of something for 2023. And what I wanted people to understand 
is that I have currently have 11 projects for 2023, 11 for 2024, and six for 2025. And a recent competitive bid that we bid on something, my competitor bid up to 2027. So unless you have somebody lined up now, you ain't gonna be appraisal for 2023. Okay. Okay. Well, we, you know, know, yeah, our understanding is we have to try, and if we're unsuccessful, the state will. We expect the state will give us a reprieve. What is it? We're under, under no orders at this time. Yeah. Yeah, but you're, you, it'll be coming up, but right. you've got a year of reprieve for that. We, and actually, I'm really sorry, Mark Mahali's not here. You may have seen in our, well, if you, had, if you didn't see the minutes, when you do see them, we appointed Mark to be our select board liaison working with the listers. We're aware that possibly the whole state will be triggering a need for a reappraisal. And yes, Denise and yeah, or. We ain't seen nothing yet. Right, no, well, and Jan, when she was here, Jan and John, when they were here, they mentioned that the state was probably going to have to do something to extend deadlines. They, they do. They, they, tried in the, they tried in the past. I had a contract come up about four years ago. They tried to make this town jump in there and do it, and I got a hold of them. And I said, "There's in the 40 years that I've been doing this, PBR has never pushed a town to do it when contractors weren't available. And I'd already had a contract with that town, and I said, I'm not changing it, by the way, just so you can just go away. And they backed off and changed oh, good. and changed what they were doing. So they are they are aware of their limitations to try to impose anybody to do anything. Well, if you can't get somebody to do it, what are you going to do? There, there are probably only six firms in the state that anybody should ever consider, and five of them are bad. So that, that's all I can tell you. Yeah, Jan, Jan gave us a long list of people or companies to contact. But. And I guess, you know, I, as you know, I'm just up the road. So mm -hmm. if you've got, got questions, just ask me. Right. You know, so. we, we may want to make sure that Mark, do you know Mark Mahali? You no, know, I don't. I he, probably do. He usually sits in that chair next to He looks familiar. Yeah, well, yeah. next to Rick. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> That's how he looked in the last night, right. too. He's way on vacation. But he'll be, he'll be, he'll be back, and, and we'll make sure that he knows that you're available just to help him, like, um, wrap I can help him around. Yeah, I can make introductions. I can yeah. probably answer his questions. Yeah. Yeah. Great. All right. Thank Sorry you. to pose myself here. I was no, 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 no. I'm glad to hear the comments. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Ed. Good to see you. All right. Take care of those black flies. Okay. I'll send them all down here. I know. Send them your way because they don't like you. Okay. So um, the consent, the consent agenda. We need to remove the East Montpelier Fire Department re request to release funds. That will likely be consent agenda at the next meeting. Thirteen. No, I thought we were going to do it. Pursuant to our receiving an invoice, the bank could we did not get an, we did no, no, but it's in anticipation of an invoice that the bank could accept. Did you see my email today? Yeah, that wasn't an invoice. No, we're taking. No, we don't need an invoice. We're taking. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, I spoke with this Stacy. Do you want to take it off, and then I can go explain it later? Um, well, I need to know why it's being taken off. I, I think you should do it now. That's okay, crazy. because I talked to Stacy at CN. CBN, not CNBA. Um, and all we need, in which they've already got, is the last two years audits from Sullivan and Powers. Those have been emailed to her to have their legal team review it. And a copy of the vote oh. at town meeting for that amount of money. Yeah. I've already sent that to them. Um, next, Stacy will prepare the paperwork for the five year loan with interest. No penalty to pay it off early. And she'll prepare a letter of, she called it full faith and credibility of the mm -hmm. municipality for us to sign on June 13th. And then my follow up email yeah. to her just before I came here was, how long does it take to get a check? Well, they're not going to do a check. They do an ACH deposit, mm -hmm. like two to three days. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're not holding them up if we wait till next meeting. Well, they would have liked that they two weeks ago. Right. And but, so, so but yeah, yeah. Do it. while we're on it, Larry called me. Uh, Larry, no, all. Yeah, I called, he called me this morning. Paul Blair called me uh, later this afternoon. And I believe we all have a follow up email 
um, ask they, they ask they need to be here tonight. So no, we don't need to be here tonight. Um, they are planning to take action at their meeting on June 1st in reliance upon Doug Denise's email and our path forward. So, so we're not. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I would have liked to have had the money, you know, two weeks or a month ago, but that right. happened. Right. Um, and I had a good conversation with Paul this morning, and got this all taken care of. And and just FYI, one okay. of one of the things that I, the whole all of the email building up to this agenda item, um, did not have Paul on it because it started with with Toby. Me responding to a Toby email that didn't have well, and Toby right, and then to, to to answer the question I never got to answer earlier, the reason Toby shouldn't even be involved in this is because he is a representative of that toying company. Oh, saw the and I remember when this all first started, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I remember now that he works for this toying place selling. Truck, so he shouldn't have been involved at all. So he, yeah. So, so we took, I took him off the email chain. And and so now I'm just saying it out loud because I'm looking for all the different ways to help us all remember. So anyway, so Toby is properly properly should be recused from these discussions. Right. Um, Paul is the point person on it. Paul's talked to Denise today. Talked to me today. Anyway, that's all why I was saying we need to take this item off the consent agenda. Um, but well, first, we have consent, it all now, so. yeah, yeah, consent agenda part one. The other thing I'll just say out loud is, oh, there's nothing else I need to say out loud. Okay. Everything else I think is, um, I'm, I'm fine with everything else that's on there. Yeah. Um, so, is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Part one. Second. Part one. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I second. Second. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Part two is ratifying the May 9th uh, East Calais Community Trust Enhanced Grant Request. And it's part two only because Denise and Mark are recused. Is there a motion to move consent agenda part two? So moved. You got to speak yeah. up for Lisa Cameron. So moved. <laughs> second. And Rick is seconding. Any, any questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Alfred, welcome. Want to join us? Can I, can, I, well, can I ask you a question? Where is the part one and part two on the? If you look at the agenda, I didn't label consent agenda part one. Part one. I apologize. For fat that. bullets, little bullets. It starts seven consent agenda seven fifteen. Consent agenda part two seven eighteen. Do you see that on the agenda? Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish you had the previous. Um, this was all on the revised agenda, Denise. Oh, I think it's maybe a agenda you guys want. Oh, okay. Let me share. Because the agenda I have is a little easy. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lisa. That's okay. Can you forward that? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Sometimes I print uh, extras. I didn't print extra, and now I think that's all I'm going to do. Yeah, and I can Okay. Sorry, Lisa. That's yeah, we did a revised agenda. Um, okay, yeah, Alfred. Today was advisory. Um, no, something wrong on Friday. It's in the folder. Yeah. The one that's in the folder. Well, I need to know the forwarding. It's just one by four. Here, I'll get yeah, it. That's, that's the one. That's the one. Um, okay, Rick and Alfred. We I put on there a couple of items that occurred to me that we'd love to hear from you guys on, but don't need to restrict you because there's other things that you want to talk about. Where are you going to start? <clears throat> you, you can you, talk. Yeah, you drive. Tell us. Do you, do you want to talk about the uh, radar science at all? Or no, that's no. the next meeting. Which, okay, what's on your agenda? My question was what happened with the private maintenance application and have we started roadside mowing? So, so two different questions. Did we get, so at our last, at our last meeting we said May 15th is the deadline for the private maintenance applications. You guys were going to call everybody who's had a request from before and tell them what we to apply this year. Did that? I called Peter, but I called Peter and I tried, reached out to the other. I did not get hold of Charlotte. I tried, but I didn't get her. 
but I tried. There was a third person as well. Um, but got no answer. Huh, so, so, and nobody has made an application? I haven't seen one yet. And the 15th is, but the 15th has come and gone. So, so, so we're going to be, I would be very surprised if those folks don't intend. Um, talk to... What did talk, Peter say? He, uh, I thought he would put one in, but he didn't hmm. do it. He's, so. he's not happy, I would say. I'm not going to put words in his mouth, but he did call me and he's not happy. He doesn't think that it's reasonable for us to ask him to mow those, the roadsides or the lengths that he wants to protect. We, well, would just be his property. We didn't ask him to, to right. where, where, so I want to <coughs> start with that so that, and you know, it's clear for the record, the application doesn't direct anything. It asks questions. And I'm not, I'm not, not looking for you to respond. I'm just responding to the point. We, that application does not make any direction. It, it asks a series of, you know, what's your plan for this, that, and the other thing. It's a very open-ended. Right, but in the application, they're supposed to specify the length of, of the roadway that they're going to maintain. Sure. Well, it would just be his, his road frontage, too. Well, so when you say he thinks he has to maintain it, you mean, when he says maintain, is that mowing? Just, just, mowing. just mowing, that's all we're talking about, is just mowing. And, and and he made it clear to me that there's no way he can hand side that much that much roadway. So hence, maybe that's why he didn't apply. I don't, but I don't but know. again, the, the application, Alfred, and I'm, I'm not, and again, I'm not really directing it at you. I just want I want the record to be clear because what 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 somehow is being interpreted in the in the application is not correct. The application mm -hmm. asks open ended questions. We don't have time to go into it tonight. Mm -hmm. It's on the website. Anybody who's interested can go look at it. Yeah. It asks open-ended questions about the property owner's intent. It doesn't right. tell them what they must do. <clears throat> well, we certainly made it clear that there was a deadline, May 15th. Absolutely. Oh, right. And so I think that, that deadline has right. passed, so it's like we have to assume they're not going to apply for that. I, yeah, I talked to Peter right after our meeting, so I call him that night or the next mm -hmm. night. Or the next mm -hmm. night, something like that. I think it was on the. I think it was on the main page. Yeah, and but but we don't have to do that now. Yeah, I don't think we should spend time revisiting it. The application was open ended because, as we noted when we were kind of wrapping up our discussions, <coughs> it felt premature. The town wasn't really ready for you know a bunch of different reasons to have a policy of what's required. Instead, we were formalized. We were just asking people to. We were formalizing the requests that come so that each person that comes is giving us the same information about what the plan is. That's all the application is. Okay, so that's it. I guess if we get one later, we'll... Well, do we want to uh, just change that to take away the date and just say it will be considered if someone comes to us? I think we cross that bridge right. when we come for it. Right, we well, just yeah, consider the it idea of the deadline was so that I would know whether I was mowing or not mowing. Right, when Abs you know. Absolutely. Just, we have a right. herd, so you know. So, so I think, what, for Lisa, for your benefit, what we do want clear on the record is that we communicated a May 15th deadline. To date, we haven't heard from people we expected we would. And I think that's the end of the discussion right now. Alfred, what else? Um, so let's move on to the status of roadside mowing generally. Um, we're ready to mow. I've done all the maintenance on the mower. I am still waiting for some new knives, because I want to replace all the knives. Uh, it'll function the way it is, but new knives will do a better job on the, on the mower itself. Uh, I've ordered them through Pete's Repair, because they are the dealer for that brand of mower. So I haven't seen them yet. And if it's like everything else. If it's like everything else, it could be a lot. But yeah. we are- husband ordered something so it's everything, July, everything, everything you tried about. Now this is January 2023. Yeah. All right. Hopefully that won't be the case for yeah. for these knives because you know there's a couple missing and I don't I've already robbed from the other. We had a second mower head with it, so I've already robbed all the teeth from that. Can't can't rob anymore. So uh, there's only a couple missing. Like I said, it will still function the way it is. Um, Do they have to be sharpened? 
No, they just be thrown away. I mean, they're they're just. So what's today? May twenty third. So what's the plan for when you're going to be able to start? Um, well, I I sort of have to wait for it to grow. It's not really nothing's growing mm -hmm. yet. I mean, there's mm -hmm. there's nothing up high enough to really cause any this sight distance. Or shrivel growth. Right, well, sure we'll grow, starting. but that's, it's starting, but mm -hmm. it's still, you want to get it just before it flowers, and the way I understand, that's sometime mid-June. It's, I would be, if you, we've had this conversation, I think, other years, if we wait until mid-June, it might be too late, just to be aware, especially like... Well, I mean, honestly, you tell me when you want me to start, and I'll go start. I mean, okay. I, I think that... There's not, it's not high saying. enough to mow. It's I'm not saying it is yet. I'm just there. saying that that we, you know, when the turbo is, is flowering is is a time that we, you know, we don't. We right, don't, you want to mow when it's flowering. Before it goes to Right, no, I get it. I get it. So does it, is it like other things in Calus? Like some places in Calus, people's lilacs are already out. At my house, well, right. so is right. it like it's very strange, especially this year. I mean, look at the apples. Look at the apple trees. Mm -hmm. I've got three apple trees on my property, and they're right on my front lawn. There's zero blossoms. Well, so all, they're all depending on the trees. They all trees right. I know, right. but it's right. just it's. Just, I mean, even on a down year, it's you still get blossoms. So anyway, it's all everything is growing differently this year because it's been cold at night, mm -hmm. and it's been you know it's just been a cold. Yeah. Spring. Yeah. Well, this is this is good though because because you're on it and you're aware. I think sure will be the first target. I think in part of the prior meeting, Southard said it was going to be really was continue doing that in early June is when yeah. we commence based on when. Right. So do we have it's somebody? Clear. Do we have somebody dedicated to doing it, or is it as an? I, as I don't as have anybody outside of the crew. Right. That uh, other guy you had last year, you said was. He's too busy. He's. Yeah. They're shorthanded where he works, and he's taking on extra routes, and right. he's doing 70 hours already, so he's not interested in yeah. working anymore. Awesome. So, but I've talked to my guys today, and three of them raised their hand. Cool. So I have three guys that are willing to run it That's intermediately. What about, what about, um, what is the other round's name? John. 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 Is he already, is there any way to John Rowell, because he'll be haying soon, and Eddie usually helps with the haying. Uh, so, yeah. What we we'll want to realistically be looking at replacing that tractor at some point soon. We just got it. Huh? We just got it. I thought that was, you talked to Alfred, that was, we got that used, right? Very right. used. It's used. And it's very used, apparently. Not very, and I don't yeah, know but, it, what, but it's, it's, it's a low use thing. It's not, and it's not a critical. Is it? It's not like, we well, aren't going to get down the road. Okay. Alfred, what he's told me is that that's not adequate. To, I don't know what we've, I haven't even seen the machine yet. You know, but depending on. You know, if it's undersized or if it's old and we have mechanical problems with it, it sounds like we are. Well, so stop me if I'm wrong, Alfred. My understanding was you were concerned about a tractor last year, actually, what was wrong. You said you blew hydraulic hoses. And I said, change all the hoses. And then we don't have hose problems. Right. But the other mechanics. Well, it's not just hoses, it is hoses. And I don't feel right changing hoses just for the sake of changing hoses. Usually, if you see a bad spot, you can change it or, or, or put a splice in it. But it would cost a fortune, first of all, to change every hose on that machine. Uh, it's not just the hoses, it's, it's just worn pins. I mean, that, it's an arm that goes in, in and out yeah. all day long, and so it's, it's worn. Yeah. It's been welded right. up many times. Um, I took the whole hydraulic tank out of it because when we bought it, we knew that it was rusty. So I took it all out, took it, set it on the shelf, mm -hmm. and welded new patches. That part is, is not an issue. It's just an older machine. And what I've been hearing is that the town wants to mow two or three times a year. 
So that's a lot more mowing than just low use, as you as you disclaimed. So I mean, I just I'm good this year, but it needs to be on our radar that it's going to have to be replaced if we're going to continue to use our own machine to mow these roads. I got to have something that's more reliable right. and because it's it's. You know, we need it. Yeah, it's just like hay. It's, 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 it's just like hay. You can't be broke down when you've got a field right. ahead. Right. So is it sized appropriately too, or do we need something that's bigger, or is it? I mean, I mean, for I'm just thinking. We certainly have speed. bigger machines, and it depends on what we want to do. I'm just based on the lift. If we're doing three mowings a year, you know, I I, I think of all this in terms of staff of road crew time. You know, we have X number of weeks to essentially get all of our major road maintenance done and, right. you know, all the work that we do, you know, in the non plowing season, it's not a very long season, so, you know, it, it, days make a difference in that. Right. So if, it, if it's something that's really slowing us down, is there a big advantage, you know, that if we can gain time back, that's important to me, but... Right. Well, I, I get the, I mean, that was an advantage because we allowed us, having our own machine allowed us to mow when we wanted to, when it was right, right for the invasive species. So that's definitely a, a valid point for having our own machine. But it does put an extra strain on the road crew because it takes a man away yeah. and sometimes two guys because, well, we are, you know. We had hoped and we had budgeted for hiring somebody. I know it's COVID. You know, right, right. Everything, everything is, it's hard to find somebody. Yeah. That, you know, it's just hard. Well, you did have somebody last year that Monzi Monzi died. But he's yeah. Right. And he's the one who you just said doesn't have time. Right. 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 Mike, so so we should put an ad out. out. That's an issue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we we still are short one full time road crew position. Mm -hmm. So right. I mean, we could be should be advertising for that still. Yeah. Okay, so we need to re-advertise for the road crew position. Can you mm -hmm. make? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I wonder if it would go better just to advertise for a short to short term mower. Well, wait, and how does, how old does somebody have to be to do this? Do, and do they have to have some kind of a license to do the road cycle? Well, you have to be. You have to. Hmm, at least sixteen. I, I mean, I wouldn't put anybody. In that machine, if they weren't 16, I'm okay. sorry, I just won't take oh, that. I will not take that response. I would no. rather them be 18. To be yeah, honest. we might want to go for a full on adult. Well, yeah, that's yeah. I'm I mean, wondering if so, you know, we could advertise maybe through the school, you right. know, and somebody at U32. I mean, the other thing about that is, is you know, yes, it's just driving a tractor and it's mowing, but it's mowing roadside, and you've got cars coming at you around corners. People trying to pass you when it's when it's a narrow road already to begin with. Mm -hmm. You got to be on your game. You got to yeah. be on your yeah. mirrors. And, and you know, and I'm sorry, but teenagers today are not on that game. They're just not unless they unless they you know what I mean. If they've grown grew up, up on a farm or something, and they and they are more aware of the dangers out there. But it's not driving in the field. When I grew up driving tractor in a field. Mm -hmm. And then I expand into the road. Now I get the right of way, the road right of way, and I get the, the obstacles out there. Mm -hmm. Cars want to drive fast, and there, you know, a tractor may go at top speed, maybe 20 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Mowing right, you're at three or four yeah. miles an hour. So somebody coming up behind you. Well, that's why I'm wondering. So it's just you've got to be on your game. It's hap I've seen it. I've, I've. My guys have told me about it. It's mm -hmm. like somebody's trying to pass you. Somebody's trying to you know, meeting somebody. Mm -hmm. It's just dangerous. So how's it with that too? You've got you're working with a sidearm tractor too. So that, right. You, you actually have some yeah, you have no. some machinery for that. So okay. Really so you get a lot. We yeah. we need to make sure we are we going to talk about this char Charlie Boy surcharge tonight? We can. I uh, you know on that. Uh, do, you know, all we had, we had a bid price estimate, you know, from last fall. We've got that, but there's no real, I mean, I, I 
I think it's foolish for us to. Did you guys have a chance to connect? Well, no, there's no contract, so it's just nothing binding, so they can charge whatever they want. Okay, so, so we, have, we have it. We have a signed quote, is what we have. Okay, so so so, so the follow up was to to look at whether there is a contract, and if so, to have our attorney look at. It. There's no contract, so that's. That is a, that What's the date of that quote? That's a lot of good. 1228. Yeah, it was one. Yeah. It's, so, when I, it's when I ordered it. It's when I actually pulled the trigger on order. So, so the question we have to process, maybe we want to start with a motion so that we are discussing something specific. Mm -hmm. What do you want to, I would make the motion to accept the Cheryl voice the the uh, fee increase, please. Well, do we really need a motion though? Um, Maybe we do. We've already, well, um, this is a question. We've already, the board has already approved up to $220,000. With this increase, the surcharge, I'm still under that $220,000. So do we need to do anything at all? Well, it's a change to the bid. It's, it's, a, change to, it's a change to the quote. Well, you, you approved. The, the select board approved two hundred twenty thousand dollars, not to exceed. I thought the town meeting we gave the number. That was the select no. board. Okay. No, it was no. This was on a select board level. This wasn't that town okay. meeting. It didn't okay. go up. It didn't go up on so the article. So we approved okay. two twenty, and then you got a quote for something, and now they're raising the quote. Yeah. And we've right. never taken an act formal action on the quote. No contract. On well, not if I, mean, I signed the book the day that I ordered it. Right. So that's me you saying, saying fell within. Uh, I'm thinking that we may want to. We can um, acknowledge the we surcharge. Can, we can acknowledge the surcharge. And do we have, is there any way to say, okay, that's it? Are they going to charge us more surcharge as things are getting. We don't have a contract. We still have no contract. We still have no contract. So, so, so maybe the motion well, this is. is, this is, is this is a quote. I mean, that's, I don't know, I don't know that I've ever bought a truck under contract. No. You usually no. you sign the quote, yeah. they honor it. True. When you go to buy it, you give them a check, they give right. you the truck. Right. Right. I mean, I don't know about a contract. I mean, you have right. a contract when you hire somebody to do road work or right. outside Well, and as we just found out with the fire truck issue, we don't need an well, my, to get along. my biggest thing is that the select board has already approved. Mm -hmm. If if this quote had have had that fifty seven hundred dollars in there in the beginning, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Right. Alfred, when did we approve it? Just so it's in the record, so people can go back and say, uh, "Oh, there you go." Sure enough, it's the minutes. I had the minutes. I tried to print them today, but I couldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't print. And that's nice. So give me a more time to print so, so Well, you, sometimes if it's a, if it's a email, it won't print. So you have a month. I mean, it was sometime in it was, March. It was I think it, yes, it was, I know it was January, like, 13th or 14th. Of this year. It of was 2021. January 2021, we approved it. Because I, I ordered this truck, like, days after you guys approved it. Okay. And and the, this date that I signed was 12-28-21. All right, so this is a heads up. Whoa, 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 whoa. 1228. 1228. Well, we would have done it in January. January would be 20, 22. Either. Right, it was December. I meant that. So it was December, like 14th, 13th, somewhere, yeah. somewhere yeah. wherever that select board meeting would have yeah. landed in okay. that time frame. So, all right, so do we. Honestly, we can be motion. grumpy about it. Is there anything else we're going to do that's productive? No. No. All right. So anything okay. else you want to tell us about tonight? What else is going on? Uh, let's see, we've got the grants, uh, the two of the road crew grants, I, I mean the road uh, grants from the Toby announced, right? The Peck, the Peck Hill, I think. Um, right, Peck Hill is, is better better roads. Right, that's a better road grant. And then, uh, uh, let's see, what was the other? approved for? Is that like the Ridge? Moscow Woods. It's Moscow. It's Moscow Woods. Been approved for Moscow Woods, it's, uh, which is digging out the clay boils. Mm -hmm. I've marked them all out and I've given them like 500 feet worth and an estimate, and that has been approved. We're just waiting on final paperwork. And this for is that. different than the bridge. We have a bridge. Yeah, it's very much different than the bridge. Yeah, I mean, you just did a huge project out of clay boils on Moscow Woods, not that. 
well, it doesn't yeah, seem like it's that long. Yeah, mm -hmm. long ago, the colder, mm -hmm. the drains, even in August, it's going to yeah. be water. Yeah, that's, we did, that was, that was like one of the first clay boils mm -hmm. that we dug out. No, I remember uh, that. But it, it's very effective. It has helped. Yes, yeah, it's it very effective, and that's why I've chosen, and the grants want to be on a specific road. So that's why I chose 500 feet. They're mm -hmm. sporadic up through there uh, to where this, the, whereas the clay boils are located. Mm -hmm. um, and they honor that, that they're okay with that. So it's like, in mean, a clay boil, they don't, they don't land in 500 foot stretch there. So I've got like three or four, one's 150 feet, there's two or three that are 300 feet, and then one 50 footer. And you're gonna do them all at once? Um, well, that's something we should talk about. Um, we have to close the road. Ideally, we'd have to close the road, which we'll have to close the road regardless, whether we do one of them or five of them at once. Right. Yeah. So, all right, so we're actually, we're at that time um, for tonight. Rick, if you that's guys want to bring a formal request, I, I, mean, I don't know if it requires it or not, but for a, a discussion on, on road closure. Road closure? Yeah, well, I think for yeah, another, as long for as we, when, is, when is that project supposed to be? What one? Well, we still got to get the final approval from the, from the state. Right. So they've, they've sent us an email saying that it's approved. Now it's got to go to, I don't know if it's the, the commissioner of transportation or who actually signs off on it. Mm -hmm. We also have to wait for the, before, it can't happen before July 1. Right. Because right. it's out of that fiscal right. year. Yeah. So uh, we got to wait for the legislature yeah. to yeah. cough up the money, let's say. Mm -hmm. okay. Do we want to do that? Do we want to do that a little closer to that time? Well, when, that, when you, once we have dates, you know, usually, and, 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 you know when we meet when our when our meeting. It's usually not a decision of sports. It's a decision of road commission. Right. We don't. That's close. fine. That's right. Right. It's informational. I think we yeah. just well, that's just going to warn the people, the public, right. that yeah. there's yeah. going to be roads well, then, closed yeah. and yeah. Yeah. Well, then put, we'll put it in put it in front porch form and we'll put it in my report. Yeah, we don't have to. We don't do anything. All right. So we're not. So we're not. We don't have to have that No. No. All right. No. It'd just be nice to know when you're going to do it. Yeah. Right. All right. It'll be. It'll be after July 1st at some point. Yeah. And I'll keep you informed as to me getting things lined up. And no, that's good. Organized. Just let me Thank know. I'm in the hopes of, you know, stockpiling some of the material so that it's closer to ha on hand. Mm -hmm. So when I dig the old stuff out, it goes right in. It's faster. It turn, you know, just turns out yeah. faster. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Okay. Jan? Yeah. We're ready for, uh, oh wait, no, I'm getting ahead yeah. of myself. Sorry, Curtis Pond. Pond. No, 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 no. Oh, bylaws. No, my bylaws is next. Oh, it is. You're right. I started, right. I took too many notes. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yes, Dan, you're right. Thanks, guys. Uh, Thanks Cal Land Use Bylaws. We have, uh, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I, I took my road notes, notes all the way down right over the island. So, um, Cal's Land Use Bylaws, process and timelines. We have 10 minutes, 10 minutes Jan, so this is just an overview of where you're headed. And well, I can tell you, you right now. Maybe an alert to something, whatever you're going to need from us. Um, I have four copies of the what's going to be changed, and they are substantial changes. Um, my request to the select board is to have at least one person who could read these and know about them before we go into select board hearing. I mean, be attending at the planning commission hearing. Um, so that's just the information. In terms of dates, my goal was to have this to vote for the, at the November election. But we are not going to make it, I don't think. We've had um, illnesses this week. One, one family had COVID. We have another member who um, is having some medical problems. So we've had meetings that we cannot have because we don't have quorum. So we are behind our schedule. Um, and I, I've been pushing and pushing and pushing, and I am so tired of pushing then it's going, to, it's, it's going to be what it's going to be. Um, the idea behind it um, then would be if we can't do the November vote, we would try to have it for the March 
vote okay. at the town vote. That's helpful. I was wondering if you were looking for something in between. A lot easier if you're not. Well, we, we have, I mean, we have to do what we have to do. Right. What's important though, and I will leave this with somebody, I, I don't know who, if you're going to have a facilitator or... I was going to suggest that John be the point person. Yeah, John. Yeah, Well, yeah, since you are the... Alternate, I know. No, I'm the alternate man. You just and you think out at certain times. I mean, when, never mind. No, that's another story. Anyway, <laughs> there is there. This was made based on if we were going to have a hearing on June 21st, and we're not going to have the hearing. But this gives the details of the timeline. So, like when planning commission that, has their what, hearing, is that, I can't see what you're pointing to. It's no, it's this. Okay, got it. Um, so where did that come from? Where did that come from? This comes from the Vermont Land Use Education and Training Review. Yeah, I know that, but where did the did, did you do a revised schedule now or not? I have not done any revised schedule. Okay. This came from Claire at the at Central Vermont Planning. The important thing is to know the date that's here. With 15 days before the uh, planning commission hearing, we have to have all our reports out to the surrounding towns, the state, um, the regional commission, and, and in the paper. And then we hold our hearing, and if there's no substantial changes, we then deliver it to the select board. The select board basically has anywhere from 15 to 120 days to take action before you have your hearing. I would hope you would do it as soon as possible, but it's at your discretion. Um, and there's certain guidelines like if there's no changes to the document, if there's no substantial changes, it's probably okay, you know, we're just going to go ahead and process it. Um, but you also, in, on the legislative body, has to have 15 days before notice. notice. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not as... Um, Stringent maybe as the town plan, but it, it does have to follow procedure based on here. And um, so I'm, you know, hoping that we can manage to do that. So that's my update. Um, I had hoped to, but I, I just don't think we're going to make it because we want to have uh, open meetings with some of the commissions, conservation and other things. Yeah, that's a good idea. Are and you the DRB. Are you going? to get us a revision of this? Like, I'm just trying to figure out like, no. what are, okay, so. I mean, I can, I can ask Claire for a revision of the date, but I have no idea. I mean, my date was set, I, want, I set June 21st, thinking of the time frame to get to the November date. I don't know anymore what the date will be. So when I get a date, I'll send it to you. Okay, so when you get a date, we'll be able to right. build a process around it. That's fair, that's fair enough. That's really what I was looking yeah, to see. So I heard, John, you are, you're willing, we won't take action on that tonight, but we will. There's no action, it's just to have. No, but my we'll, we will, we will, the formally, assign, my we will formally yes. assign John, okay. maybe as part of the consent agenda at our next meeting. What does SHROD acronym mean? Shoreland Overlay District. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what, it, and I think it's fair for you all to know that there's two major changes here. We're getting rid of the shoreland district as we have it. It's going to be a shoreland overland district. Um, there's going to be changes in two areas of residential district at, at the Adamant area and in North Palace. And we are putting in a river corridor overlay so that we can get our full ERAP at 17%. That river corridor overlay allows for no development, no new development anywhere in the river corridor. So I don't know whether or not there's going to be what issues there will be. I do know that um, lakes and streams and conservation are very concerned about shroud. Um, we also have new changes in terms of our buffers and water surface, but we have added something for erosion and stormwater control, which we would hold is more, sometimes more important. So recent lakes and streams and who DEC conservation. The conservation and lakes and stream locally here. Oh. Our, the, the, those commissions have been in contact with us routinely throughout this. Oh. And they may still have issues, I don't know. Where is it on here that 
hear about North Dallas. Does it have to be? Oh, that will be tied in to the uh, Shroud issue. When I issue the report, it will show that North Callis wants to increase their village district. Oh, Adam okay. wants to decrease their village district. That's right. <laughs> really? Yes. They want to have they want to have more rural residential around the lake, around that pond. And so they are after preservation more of the pond, whereas North Callis, because of the water going the way it is, it comes down out of uh, the lake in such a way. Most of the pond is in East Montpelier. It just goes down past the well, gorges and... It, anyway, it, okay. it is... It's, it, well, no. The porters own a lot of that stuff. Oh, the other pond. Adam and Pond. Adam and Pond. I'm talking about Adam and Pond. Oh, I said Adam and Pond. That's all in Callis, yeah. Sodom, we have nothing to do with Sodom. Yeah. Adam, and that's a new lake for us because it's not part of our shoreland district right now. And they want it to be. And they, well, we have to by state. It's, right. a, it's a 20 acre lake. Right. Uh -huh. Or under, I mean, it's a 10 acre lake, and our shroud is for 10 acres. So, um, and then with North Palace, they want to extend the village, obviously, mm -hmm. for several reasons, whether or not they'll do it. Is it the porters that don't want to see development? They own all the land. That, that pretty, mu pretty much. But if we had a we had a public meeting, and the, the decision was was pretty unanimous by a lot of the people. But yeah, a lot of porters were there. But there were a lot of people that live along the road up that way that agreed with it, mm -hmm. and that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so that's about so what we're seeing. Thank, mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I guess I don't know. Thanks. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I was going to say you are you. the best Thank chair. You. No, so, I'm not. No, you're, I'm so you're, tired of it. We've down. been here, I've been here 16 years, and you're just excellent. I just want Rock to say it. that. Thank you. Well done, Jim. Well done, Jim. Well, okay, thank well you. Done. Thank you. Wait until you get your grand list. Oh, um, no. <laughs> that's a different old spot. Thanks, Jim. Okay, see you all. Thank you, Jim. Okay, now it's time for the Drum roll. You want to move up, or? Yeah. And just this, just way. Um, so you're aware, and you probably see the revised agenda. We have 15 minutes for this item, and I at least will be occasionally checking my watch. I don't think we need to make you even need that. <laughs> All right, I'll keep going then. I guess I, I want to just... Take it away, guys. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, before we get into the weeds of the amendments or anything, I just wanted to stress that the DNK contract is not a commitment to build the dam in any way, shape, or form. It has nothing to do with the financing, which is a whole other ballgame. Uh, but it's paid for by us. We have the financing to do this. Mm -hmm. And I think the amendments are very, very minor. I, we just all wanted to really emphasize I use the term grandfather. We wanted to get it grandfathered in. So the only reason we're doing this is we're, yeah, we're worried. Yeah, Again, we're, if with the day, the minute the permit goes in, the application. and the application for the permit goes in, is the state of the dam that day. So if it breaks the next day, it's still the application, because uh, right. they're not issuing applications. So basically, if it breaks again. before we get a permit, for new yeah. It would be yeah. almost well, impossible. To it would be almost impossible to do it. So, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. If it Sorry. breaks, so if tomorrow the dam, you know, a fails. big a big uh, storm yeah. happened, it overtopped, it failed, it started looking like the dam behind Maple Corner Store, mm -hmm. um, which was, is very similar in construction, um, we wouldn't be able to rebuild it without you know, getting all sorts of, uh, you know, departments to agree to rebuild it, and they might not. Amen. So, so in fact, it's, the state hasn't approved dams recently, and, and there'd be people in the state who would say, oh, that's a nice wetland. You don't, you know, we're not, we're opposed to flooding wetlands with dams. So, so once we have the permit, even if the dam looks like the dam behind the filed. Right, yeah. Yes. And not approved. Right. right. It's just really important to, to differentiate between the application and the actual issuance of a permit. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So, so the date we submit it 
That's the permit application. That's the, yeah. Yes, the date we submitted is that's that's, that's the status of the that's, dam that they will. That's what they're waiting for. Yeah, and that's the urgency here. Okay, I'm going to stop you guys actually for a second. I don't think for Lisa's benefit. Could you say your name so she? Gets oh, I'm sorry, Colleen Bloom. John Rosenblum, P L U M. That's a bloom and that's a Rosenblum. Which is better? I like my Rosenblum. My name is Rini DeGus. No flowers now. R E E N I E. Because it's two words D E. We have their names and our materials, Lisa, but I realize that we should at least help you out a little bit for your notes. And we're representing the C. PA, who's Curtis Pond Association, Curtis Pond Association yes. and the subcommittee of the dam Thank you. group. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Okay. So, so, and so, yeah, you're looking for a, you're, you're asking us to approve uh, the revisions <coughs> to the engagement with Dubois and King to develop the permit application. It's called the Agreement for Consulting Engineering Services. So that's that's the request tonight, right? Right. Yep. Um, and John and I have been attending meetings, and it's been made very clear to us that this is only to submit the application. If we get the permits, there's not enough money. Doesn't mean you have to do anything. This is an agreement is where an agreement. Dubois and King be contracted to revise the last developed application, right? right. Yes. yes. And Great. to update it and whatever. And, Which I and yeah. Then sub, and then submit it on our behalf. And it creates it creates the important thing is it creates bid ready plans. So right. these are then it can be sent out to bid and then right. right. and, and, and it's just another it. step in the long yeah. right. and no obligation. Right. And there's still no obligation on the town's part. I just want to keep saying that because yes, I absolutely. I don't want people to think that we're committing any kind of money to start working on the dam. Anything that has future discussion. Future right. discussion. Right. No, I mean, just, it's, 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 we have all the materials, but for people who just read our minutes to understand generally what, you know, kind of where we are in the process, the point that Denise is, is making, and, and what the select, what, what the small action the select board is taking tonight is, and what it is not. Right. And what it is is to approve this. Are you making a motion, Denise? I can make a motion to approve the revised agreement for consulting engineering services with Dubois and King. Um, to submit uh, applications to DEC, I guess it is, right? DEC. Mm -hmm. Well, we're approving the changes. The changes to the to, agreement. And then we're also seeking approval from the select board to go forth and sign this contract on behalf of the town of Calus. Yeah, and authorize me to sign the contract. Yeah. Um, and then it would get submitted by the CPA Curtis Pond Association. But once it gets signed by Charles Johnson, we're gonna need a signed copy back for this town yes. record. Yes, of course. So okay, so that's the, that's the motion. There's a motion, is there a second? Second. I, I need clarification on the motion. I didn't get that. Sorry. You want to read back what you have? Um, well first you said that you approved re revised agreement for consultation with Du Bois and King to submit applications, but then it changed to approve changes to agreement and approval for the select board to sign the contract on behalf of. Here, uh, let me clarify. Right? We're, we're seeking approval of the select board of the the contract revised. as revised between the town of Callis and the engineering firm Du Bois and King. And with Denise, will sign that contract on behalf of the select board uh, and remit that to Dubois and King. That's the motion. Yeah, that's good. And then, just just to be clear, we're so we're revising it based on these three um, modifications that the CPA has recommended. Right, right. right. Okay. That's, that takes yeah. care of. As long as Dubois and King is fine with it, mm -hmm. fine with us. And Rick and Rick are you willing to second that revised yeah, motion? Okay. Um, and then all further, John and Denise, as our <coughs> liaisons with your finger on the pulse of this project, it's your recommendation yes. that yes. we that we approve these suggested changes. Yes. yes. And moving forward with this 
contract for the town. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then it's clear on the record that it obligates the town to nothing at this point. Very clear. That's right. <laughs> okay. This is a contract for services. This is not a contract where we're obligating the town to yeah. build a dam. This is just to so create bid ready plans and mm -hmm. file a permit. That's all. Application. Application. Sorry. <laughs> Rick, do you, I'm not asking John at least because I figure they have you kind of made the motion. You, well, and you have all the information. Do you have any questions? You no, I don't. Yeah, I understand. Um, I'm all set as well. Is there any other discussion we want to have? Anything else you guys want to add? Can we vote? No, we yeah. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Okay. Yeah. You're thank you, very thank much. you for yeah. participating in this. And, yeah. Yeah. And, and we want to do all the legwork. We don't want you guys to work. We just want you to vote. We'll do all the work. <laughs> That's what we also wanted to stress. <laughs> no, it's it's really we really appreciate the yeah. I love I love these, you know, centers of really important work that serve our town so robustly in a way that really a slick board would never have time to do. So no, we do not. No, we do not. We've had fun doing it. Yeah. 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 But we're ready to move it forward. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Is there, That's great. is there an upcoming meeting that we should Thank know you. about? Um, Thanks for meeting, Jen. Yeah, thank you. No, but I'll certainly make you. Uh, we have a lot going on this summer, but we'll, we'll be in touch. Okay. Does that mean that? Sure, I know I can. Yep, yeah, we, we will. Right. You're our high priority as the liaisons. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Good night. Okay. Where are we now? Town hall. We need to town hall. Okay. So, Donna, I did my copy a few weeks ago. Yeah, I printed it. Um, if anyway, I had it. Actually, for no reason whatsoever. If somebody wants to look at what, yeah. Um, so what Donna? We got an email a few weeks ago from Donna Fitch uh, proposing that she clean. I'm assuming she's <laughs> she's the one who's uh, going to do the work. There she, oh, she is. There she is right on time. Yeah. Donna, yeah. we're on. Donna, we're on your item. Actually, if you want to come up here. I just started on your item. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're on. We're on. So, so we're, we're going to rename you as Hazel. <laughs> right. We have. We Do have, I get a little uh, white frilly apron? <laughs> so we have. Yeah, we have ten, 10 minutes to talk about your proposal, proposal which we have in front of us. Um, so it is to thoroughly clean twice a month, check, just do a spot check, I guess, at the large gatherings, clean the exterior where is in, yeah, bugs gather. Mm -hmm. And this is just down here. Yeah, I, I would do the stairs up, but I, I'm not sure what's happening up there with friends of... Yeah, I think they're, they're responsible for having somebody clean upstairs. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then you'll let us know if there are maintenance issues mm -hmm. and addressing by, you know, somebody else. And if necessary, you would ask us to authorize more intense cleaning, and you will make sure there are ad adequate supplies, which I assume you will build back to the town as an expense Correct. in addition to the suggested 200 a month for performing the above outlined services. So is Andy Felice still in the <coughs> town hall warden yeah. or whatever we call okay. it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he'd still be the contact person for yeah. things that need to get done. I mean, other things I can think of is like there's no signage for that lift, and I don't think people know how to use the lift. Mm, good point. I know I do. Well, and it, I, you know what? It hasn't been an issue because we weren't. We didn't right, yeah. Yeah. But we recently approved the town, Friends of Town Hall Management Agreement, yeah. mm -hmm. and I think they're getting ready to schedule a play. Okay. So, so that to me would come under the category of other. Oh, by the way, here's some things exactly we need to know yeah. about. So, is there anything in the two hundred dollars a month for those services you outlined? You probably brought your, you know, is there anything you want to add, illuminate, around well, this for us? No. Do we have a vacuum? What did you say? Do we have a vacuum, or do we need to buy one? We don't have one here. So we need to buy a vacuum. Need a road cleaner. Let's see some retail. So we need to buy a vacuum. So do we want to authorize Donna to buy one for us with a 
That's what I was just going to say. Budget? Up to, I don't know, what do you think? 250? 250, 250 that's I was going to say 200, but they're probably more expensive than this. They're like four or 500 for a good gun. I think it depends on what you get. <clears throat> yeah, it does depend. And if you want one that has a thing so you can do the stairs, you're going to have to be able to have it. No. So it has a hose, right? Where would that come out of? Out of the town hall? Town hall supplies, supplies probably. Right. Isn't it? Is there a yeah. budget for that? Supplies. Yeah, there well, is. I was just looking in the, the budget for the janitorial services is fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, so, so, that's right. so if you want to stick to that, that's fine by me. Right. So why don't we have a? So we want to look at back the back up to five hundred dollars, I think. Because if we can get a really oh, good oh, one, for the backup plan. Yeah, because if we get a really good one, there's no reason they can't use it when somebody cleans upstairs. Do you just want like a backpack type that continue just? I don't, know, I don't know if Don wants a backpack. Backing. I don't want a backpack. You don't want a backpack. They're easier when you're dealing with stairs. And... Yeah. Well, I've well, never well. seen Hazel use one of those. No, she, she, she had, had, a, she had she a, electrolytes. She, she had a Hoover. A Hoover? Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, so, so well, you, the, Don, you just said the budget is 1500 but are we including the 500 for the vacuum? Isn't there a supply budget for um, well, the other question I had, because it came up when we were talking about the upstairs, we want to make sure that we let the insurance company know that you're going to be doing this so that it's not too big to get hurt. Right. Kind of thing. So maintenance budget is $1,500, Jan which is not what we're talking about. Janitorial is $1,500, and supplies are $1,000. So, so we're good with $500, up to $500. Out of the supplies. <laughs> out of the supplies budget for the for the vacuum cleaner and the 200 that you're proposing a month fits into the 1500. Right. No, it doesn't. That's no, what I'm saying. You can, you can reduce me though. Whatever that is. That would be 125. Thank you for doing the math. That's 125. But if we go on, yeah, for that. If we, that's fine. 125 a month. Uh, that's, that's. Well, we'll just pump it up next year. Well, this is next year, John. No, I mean. In following year. So, so that's very, well, that's we, don't want, we don't want to lose our. That's much appreciated, Donna. Well, I mean, we can also go over budget. Well, I'm yeah. turning 70 this year, so maybe I'll just age too much. Why don't we, why don't we meet in the middle and say 150? What do you say? So remember, you're 160. 160. What are you doing? I'm okay with 150. So I would. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, so. So you want me to make a motion? Okay. Yeah, on both points, maybe. Can I make a motion that we take Donna up on her very generous offer to be the hazel of the town hall lower level at a salary of or a stipend of $150 a month and to purchase a vacuum for up to $500 and we will notify passive that you're doing this as a town stipend employee, whatever they want to call it, whatever Starting they Starting June 1? Starting June 1st. Sure. Do you want me to fill out a... Yeah, we'll have to get you, I'll have to get you a form. I, I can just print it off the internet. Okay. Can we do that? It's yeah. Too. Okay. Yeah. And if you, kind of, if you want to scan it and email it to yeah. me, then we can... I can get it to... Uh, is there a second to the motion? I'll second. Any other discussion, thoughts, comments? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you, Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Very Thank efficient. You. And if you have any recommendations for window coverings that are uh, yeah. 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 hanging on the wall, I actually do. We have somebody who cleans the windows. Mm, not the out. No, the yeah. outside. Yeah. It seems yeah. like that's an Andy job. I wouldn't want Donna outside. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, so you all see Yeah, that. I don't know if we've ever had anybody clean the windows. There's a guy who comes to my office to clean windows. Uh, can we get him? Maybe. I can. Can you let us know? Maybe. Yep, I can. I have his business card sitting yeah. on my desk. Yeah, because that would be good, right? Yeah. And also, um, I think we last, I think last year, um, it's the, it's the computer guy in my Apple home. Tom. Tom Frost. I think he, didn't he clean the outside? Didn't he, um, oh, he and his son did, I power wash the yeah. outside. Oh, really? Yeah. So we want to, I don't know if we want to do that. Maybe he did windows, too. Maybe. Yeah. 
If I think it needs it, I can talk to him. Yeah. And let you guys know. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Don. You're welcome. Thanks a lot, Don. Okay, our next item is um, Webmaster. Webmaster. And Denise uh, prepared this draft mm -hmm. of what the Webmaster, right, just based on what I've learned, duties might, yeah. might be. Denise, you just want to kind of walk us through this? Yeah, I mean, when Katie was doing it, um, she was posting the agendas, minutes, you know, anything else we asked her to do on the town website, on the town calendar. Um, she was making updates to members of the different boards, committees, commissions. And also, you know, Jeremy and Barbara were, and Judy before that, were doing some posting on the calendar. Um, Jamie's willing to be our person to do this. She has requested, and I think it makes sense, and we're going to have to train um, the various committees, commissions, boards. You know, she's committed to checking her email every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and posting whatever anybody has sent. She's also probably going to check other days, too, but if we can get people to commit to making sure they get her stuff by Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, with enough time to adequately post warnings of meetings and things like that. Um, I think it should, I think it could work out really well. She's really she's got experience doing sure she website updates for other groups that she's involved with, like Mosaic and I think she, she's doing the Curtis Pond Association okay. stuff on their website or Facebook page or whatever it is. Um, and I think it's fair to ask that I ask if she wants to have a stipend. If she's going to commit to not just like, yeah, I'll get to it when I want, or you know, you're going to have to keep bugging me to do it. I think if she's committed to doing it mm -hmm. those three days, I think that's. And so, so right now we have um, basically just Jeremy. well on the website still Katie, Jeremy, and Cliff. So it seems like. We are, you know, formally saying no Cliff. Cliff's not available, well, and Katie's not available, well, so they have Cliff to come really, on. Really, Cliff said he never got trained. Oh. We, supposed, we appointed him, but he never got trained. Mm -hmm. Katie um, is willing to help out, like she did me this weekend. She's going to help train Jamie. She might help train Jamie, Okay. which I will ask her to do. Um, and I don't think it's going to take much for Jamie to get trained. No, she'll get it. She'll get it real quick. But I, I'd like to leave Katie on just as a backup for emergencies, like she helped me out this weekend with the agenda. Okay. Like and, she, and, and, I, I, and I, because I called her, and she offered. Okay. So, so I just like to have that as some backup. Did she? Um, it seemed to me in conversations with her before she did want to be doing that for free before, you know. Who, Katie? Yeah, I mean, it's like, I, I had trouble getting her just to do the room conditions. She, well, so she knows she's, she's kind of going to the tent. She's gotten kind of backed out of it. She's really backed out of stuff. But yeah, now, no, she's really busy. I, and and right. she wasn't doing it for free. Well, maybe she was. Well, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure no, what we were, line was. We, we were paying her as the person right. taking the minutes and doing right. some of these other functions that she just, mm -hmm. and the way, it, the way it happened, it was just kind of, organic the way it happened oh, yeah. with her doing some of these other duties because it made sense because she was doing the minutes and here's my only concern so yeah so what Denise when we when we did a revised agenda and it was over the weekend we needed a way of getting it up and Denise and Denise said well I'm gonna ask Katie if she would help us out and she did but on the other hand, having somebody listed on the website who's actually not really available might be inviting abuse or over over. Well, I think a, so. That uh, that's like I think where I'm. Well, maybe we could take her off. Yeah. But not. But know that she's there for emergencies. Yeah. Sure. No, yeah. You know, she'll take a call from from us if it's an emergency and do something. Uh, yeah, I just wouldn't want. I wouldn't want her to have, I wouldn't want her to have a formal role and have people have an expectation. Right. I always say she's an advisor. Yeah. It's yeah. An advisory yeah. role. And I think we should list Jamie first, Jeremy second, 
And then the others come off. Right. Okay. So, and but, so we can know that, you know, there, Barbara, has, Barbara knows how to post stuff. So Jeremy might be the webmaster, but he might ask Barbara to post. Right. Barbara something. knows how to do it, but she's not formally. And, right. And Jeremy's been great about helping us out. Yes, he has. Because yeah, he's, he's he, he, he's said, he has said over and over, I'm the only person who's actually... Right, and that's why I was anxious to get somebody. Yeah. I think we need to take some of that workload off of him. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Jamie's aware, it sounds like from what you're saying and what's documented here, that it is not just a select board, it will be others as well. Yep. Okay. And that's why she's committed to checking Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because she goes away quite often in the winter, and she's gone for three, four, five weeks at a time, because mm -hmm. I talked to her about that. You know, we're still going to need this stuff done. Yeah. And that's why she said she would be committed to doing at least every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yep. So, and so then the other things that are in your outline, Denise, your proposal is things we've already talked about, content that's needed, appointments and reappointments, that's to commissions, please, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And then some, some broader things, rearranged zoning stuff. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot, there's some work that needs to be done. She yeah. and I have talked about it that if you go to our website right now and try to find something on zoning, it's, it doesn't make, it, it, to me, it's not intuitive, it doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. where you find some of this stuff. So I'd like to work with her to suggest some changes because I don't think it's easy to find stuff. I well, can't find finding it. that application <clears throat> to be your own roadside mower, Maybe, yeah, that's it's, it. it's, it's in there, it's buried. Right. Yeah, where me, I found it, it, it wasn't really intuitive. To me, it should be under the highway. Mm -hmm. I thought it was Maybe that's where I could find it. I think that's where we... But if this is something that it's got a mm -hmm. time-sensitive thing, it wasn't right out front. It was... It's, it's under right. highway apartment. It says right. it's under highway. And there's no reason why it can't be in two places. I mean, see, that should have like a blinker that says time-sensitive right. deadline. Well, and there's no reason why it can't be in two places, because some people might right. think, not think highway, they might think select board. Right. So we could put right. it under select board. But if you look at the zoning stuff, it is, it'll make your head explode. But the thing is, most of the highway stuff is standards and questions, and, right. and, and then sure. there's an overweight permit, and then it's, we have ordinances and standards mixed with applications or all, so they should right. be separate. Well, the town, well, That's yeah, so, the yeah so, well, so, the, so what you're getting to, John, and actually, Denise, what you are getting to as well is, is I had a conversation with Jeremy about what is the role of the, of the webmaster when I'm learning it isn't really to post the day-to-day -day stuff. And, and he said, well, in his mind, it is, it is those bigger issues. It's mm -hmm. opening up the planning commission's page, meeting with them. Is this current? Do you like it? What's missing? Right, what can we change um, or update? Yeah. How do we improve it? Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, planning commission is, is one of, of many many examples. Um, I would, I would, I mean, Denise said you'd like to work with her, but I would, I would suggest that we invite Jamie to take, I'm just constantly aware of all the things we have going on right now, and, and, and with all due respect, that's one person, your opinion, Denise's opinion may be different than somebody else, so I would invite Jamie to say, bring, bring together a little focus group, yeah. and get input from people with different brains, that's a good idea. and oh. let, you know, let her kind of take charge of a project to see how people think about the website and what makes sense well, I, I organizing. Think, but if anybody has, like Denise has ideas, you know, sure. idea, they can email them to Jamie. Sure, well, I can ask Jamie so about, she she has something to I just don't want her to feel like because we're the select board, we get to, we get to, you know, I mean, no, yes. it should be input from everybody. It should, in terms right. of like, like where, where's the best place to find something? If we say, could you put it here? She'll do it, but in terms of like overarching. Well, I, my, my thought was that have her look at the Planning Commission page, see what she thinks, <laughs> and talk to the Planning Commission about. Is it that that's where you found zoning and that's weird? Yeah, that's there's, something, not there's something weird. It's Every time I go to find stuff on zoning, I can't find it. Anyways, my idea yeah. was to have her, maybe they schedule her at each of these board well, commissions and committees to come and. 
and talk that, with them about the website. And that level of thinking about how, what's the architecture of the website That's the word. is something I know that Jeremy is interested in. So I don't FYI. Like, well, I really I mean, like the idea of you know, having some kind of a repository. If it isn't too much work, where we actually have anything that was deadline, like you said, one location, and when the deadline is passed, it goes off. You know, so that way, and, and it can just be a link to the appropriate documents, well, not to what's this. And well, that's say and link that, in, in and the I, website. I think you did ask for that application to be on the landing page. And John, it was. Right. And John, it may have been the deadlines. <laughs> it <laughs> was on there because I remember seeing it. Yeah, I think yeah. it was. Oh, okay. So, but I'd also like her to meet with the office staff yeah. to see, you know, what works, what doesn't work. What you know, we, just, we, just did, we just did have the website revamped, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm not sure I agree with how some of that stuff works, but that's... I think, that's, when I, I mean, I spend time on other towns' websites for my work, and how ours is organized is very consistent with whatever that... Right, because the, that's the... That architecture backdrop right. is. It's pretty that's simple. Their website isn't very big, so it's... Right, uh, yeah. It's, it, it is... Okay. It can be hard still is nice if you've got active deadlines to to just have this in one... Mm -hmm. you know, quick reference with one line, and it's a right. link. It's a link to the actual place on the website where... They, so is this effective mm -hmm. immediately, like when Lisa gets... Um, the minutes drafts for tonight done, do they go to? I think we want to, I consider, I said can we make it back on June 1st. Okay. So, as far, so anybody else have questions or comments, yeah. Rick, about yeah. this, John? And are we good with, um, did I put in an amount for a stipend? Nice. Oh, we need to figure out what are we going to offer the stipend. I'm suggesting she's going to do all this meeting with all these groups and people and before we before we get to that um, one thought I have is to is is to I mean it's web duties responsibilities and yet we've got a person's name in there some little like you know I said webmaster duties and responsibilities here. Yeah but it's got Jamie's name in it. And that's where I'm like. Oh, you want a generic size? Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. about I want a generic. On the other hand, I know that you know Jeremy is still a town is still. Well, you already said it. Jamie is first. Yeah. And Jeremy can be like a backup. Right. I mean, yeah. there's certain things that he's going to want to post. Right. Because he's doing them, and it makes sense for him to do it. So I think. Um, so we just say primary and then secondary or something. Yeah. Like that. Or. Yeah. I don't know how else. Cause I know. I, I'm sort of struggling with it too, and yet what do you call them. Um, so the primary webmaster would be Jamie. Right. One is a webmaster and one is the assistant to the webmaster. Maybe. Or just backup. Well, yeah, I mean, or is really it the assistant. opposite? I don't know. I feel like I realize we're overthinking it. But Jamie's Jamie in charge of it. Jamie. So is, is Jamie, I heard, I was hearing Jamie's primary and, and the Jeremy's kind of the backup. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And, 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 and you know, I think we have to not box ourselves in. As Jamie's working with the groups or Jeremy, you know, we might right. need to alter the duties, add duties, mm -hmm. you know, right. move things right. around. So I would ask that we have some flexibility to come back and absolutely. But can we can we take that one step of taking of you know saying that the town is it is it it's not the town clerk, it's Jeremy, right? Who is the No, it's the town clerk. The town clerk is uh, Judy was. Okay. So that's been okay. It goes, it goes with the position. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so Jamie is the primary webmaster. The town clerk is the backup. S second. I think I don't want to want to say backup. Second. I say second. That, I don't want to get any pushback. But that's either way. That's but that gets the names out if we mm -hmm. if we. Take. Right. And you understand this was just a quick. No, I totally do. I just I I it's Denise. It's so. It's great. it's great, and we can for, we can like lock lock it in, take little... draft off, and say, okay, so we'll have the primary, then the town clerk will be the second, and then and then the town clerk can assign office staff as needed to do right various duties. So I don't even know that they'll put that in there. No, right? he delegate. He'll delegate as he's yeah. you know, he, as he does. Um, Okay, so did I, did I, I, I do have a question. Um, 
you said that Jamie's going to keep track of hours and, and workload. Yeah, what are system yeah. select board assistant? Um, are you suggesting that down the road, select board assistant would take over the role? I think so. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe you make. Then maybe we have three, so we have yeah. lots of backup. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, right, I can imagine, yeah, I mean, this is now we're getting way off. In the I just like, I just like the, the security, since um, what we're going through right now, is having stuff spread out, like you have well, payroll going on with right. the one company, and then we're doing yeah. something else, right. and Jamie, mm -hmm. so if we lose somebody, we don't lose everything, the totality of work effort in that office. Well, right, and, so. and I imagine, too, that a select board assistant would take this on, but not as job number one. It's like, no, it's like first, you know, Jamie's got it good. We've got our, you know, so we can onboard somebody to take over. Right, and I think that's a, a, a nat, and it would be a natural thing for a select board assistant to do. Right, thing. and then yeah. if Jamie loves yeah. doing it and wants to keep being the lead, I'd be like, fine. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, but I think, I think we're really lucky to have talent. her yeah. to do this. Yeah, she's great. Well, and the, yeah, but to John's point, Redundancy is really important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah okay. So these, you're going to make those changes we're talking about to kind of get names out and just yeah. make it slightly more formal. I don't see anything else we need to do right now. It looks like yeah. a great start. Thank you. Yeah. yeah thank so, um, do we have this? Yeah. I so have, I made the motion. So I'm all right. So you that. made the a motion to appoint Jamie as the primary webmaster. With a monthly stipend of two hundred dollars. Right. Is there a second? I second. Oh, you whoever. Okay. Somebody seconded. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 And then yeah. I'll communicate with Jamie about this and give her. I have. She hasn't. She hasn't seen this. Let's adopt this. Okay. So, is there a motion to adopt the webmaster duties and responsibilities as revised in our discussion? So moved. Okay. I mean. Second. Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 And you'll... I'll take care of updating this, contacting Jamie. Yep. Suggesting she meet with Jeremy and the various commissions committees. That's great. Thank you. Yep. Nice job. Um, so much appreciated. Okay. David Healy. You got extra time now. No, actually. <laughs> Five minutes ahead. Are we? Yeah, we're four minutes ahead. So you can beg by my more much. Money. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Well, it's been a long time since I'm trying to do better about alerting our guests to the time we have allotted. So, yeah, John's right. We're a little ahead of schedule. So we have about, so don't waste it, 14 All right, so for the record, I'm David Healy. David Healy. The Town of Calvus Delegate to CD Fiber. And I'm here tonight to give the board an update. Yeah. As well as beg for money. Yeah. As well as money. Big for money. Okay, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> I think the last time I really met with the board was October. Was it that long ago? Yeah. What does it seem like? I mean, we put out monthly newsletters that yeah, okay. they put in you know, front porch forum. And they're pretty good. I mean, they're, we, we're trying to do better. Anyway, <clears throat> but since we last met, um, we've hired an engineering firm to manage, to do the engineering and, and manage the construction. Yeah, who is that? Uh, NRTC, National Rural Telecommunications Co-op. Mm -hmm. It's a that. national company that And you've hired an executive. We hired an executive director, Janelle Smith, um, who started about three weeks ago, and she's terrific. What's her name? Janelle, J-E-N-N-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Interesting Smith. spelling. And where is she from? She lives in um, Bristol. Bristol? Yeah. <laughs> She's a native. And um, the last six months have been Herculean. We've <laughs> and we've also contracted with Waitsfield Champlain Telecom, Valley, Champlain Valley Telecom, to be the operator and the ISP. So we're ready to wow. do that too. And we had a competitive RFP for all that. I mean, a lot of work went into that. I spent a lot of time in Maine. And in Waitsfield, looking at the two companies that we've. How many RFPs did you get? We had three, four. One. We narrowed it down to two okay. a company in Maine and the company in NRTC teamed with Waitsfield, Champlain Telecom. And the good part about that is the Northeast Kingdom CUD, which is 55 towns, same, same engineering firm, same management, same operator. Oh, 
Huh. So late sale Champlain Valley is going to be doing all of Northern Vermont. And they have the bandwidth to take all of that out. Well, we're hoping. <laughs> they said they do, right? They said they do. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to roll out in a, a paced way anyway. So, um, yeah, you said that's something that I forgot to do. Yeah, so it, that, that's the, you know, it's going to be 1,100 miles of fiber. Um, NRTC has just finished the, the what they call the exec executable project plan. So there's a whole document now to guide the whole construction and the deployment. Um, and the phase network that we're talking about, and I don't, I have a yeah, prepared slide for this, but um, the design of the network has now got 24 distribution areas. Callus you network, you're talking about our network. Yeah, the, the CV fiber network. Callus is divided into six of the distribution areas. Six out of how many? Out of 24. And it's sort of done on an engineering basis, and I can't tell you how they did it. It had to be so many service points per area, and the good news is, you know, and this is not public yet, uh, most of Callus is being done on camera. Like on camera, it. yes. And then we'll be well, early, early in the queue, let's okay. put it that way. Okay. We are early in the queue? Yeah. That's good. And the detailed engineering for Callus will be done on July 1st. That, that Are going to start or going to be done? The construction, the engineering design will be done on July 1st. And we're planning to start the network <laughs> construction sometime in, it looks like October by the time we get bids from construction companies and materials. That's the other thing. The materials, the supply chain issues are huge. We have four to six month delays on certain equipment, particularly the electronics, but even some weird things are taking four months to get. Mm -hmm. But we did, um, we um, put out a bid. We, we're getting all the results for our materials bid today. And on Friday we heard from the state, we asked for, we asked for $8.8 .8 million from the state for materials and they gave us six million on Friday. So we have money to buy the materials, so that's the good news. And um, what else do I have to say? So it, it, in summary, we're moving, we're, you know, even though it's three years, it's, you know, you, of course you know me, I've been working on this for a long time. Mm -hmm. It seems like the inertia is there now to, to make it happen, and you know, we're on a pretty good roll. So the schedule I see is, you know, between the fall of this year and 2024, we'll do all 896 locations in Cal's. Um, we're only getting money to serve the underserved, which is 539, which is one of the highest proportion in the region, that's why. 39 households? Yeah, are yeah, underserved. Are underserved, yeah. And so that's why there is the total number of households? Uh, 896. So what's the difference between underserved and... They, underserved? Do, they do not have cable or fiber, but there's no fiber in Calus, so it's, they don't have cable. So if you don't have Comcast, you don't have... Okay, so that's so like I don't have cable, so I'm, you're underserved. I mean, I mean most everybody, everybody on this board is underserved. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, okay. so underserved doesn't mean economically. No, it just means it broadband means, right, speeds. Speed. Broadband okay. speed. Just want to make that yes. clear so it's like okay. Right. So the blue line on the map is the main trunk coming through. That's the backbone. Yep. Okay. And then everybody else will be served out of it. The blue dots that John is looking at are the people who have cable. So the red dots are the underserved. Eight, so we have, yeah, so, I'm sorry, I'm still yep. getting twisted on the numbers. We have 896 locations, total locations, I. houses, sort of houses. House, yeah. households, and buildings. Five and 539 of those are underserved. underserved, served, and therefore going to be addressed between October and when? 20, uh, 2024. Oh, so, okay. The bulk so, of them will be done the first phase, so. And, and, okay, and so I just want to circle back to my memory, which, because these guys know I don't remember details very well, but I remember this detail. Well, now we know. That, that uh, we, were, we were going to, Callus was going to be, underserved Callus was going to be done in 2022. I remember hearing that yeah. last year. So that timing is slipping a little oh, bit. Oh, definitely slipping. Okay. Yeah, I just, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised either. Yeah. So the blue line. 
is just the backbone. I, I, and I probably just, shouldn't have put that on the map, but okay. it's and John in just, And John just told me that I thought it was telephone poles. That, yeah, everything's on, on WEC. I mean, not power poles. Power poles. So the spurs off the blue line are called. They'll, yeah, they'll be going everywhere. That's for most of us. Okay. Yeah, they'll be going everywhere. Gotcha. Um, so yeah. the little red dots are everybody. The little red dots are the underserved, and they're pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Um, you can see Route 14 is served, and then um, the, the cable area that goes from Worcester to Maple Corner is served. Mm -hmm. But the good news is. We also have to run the fiber to get to the red dots, which means we'll be going through people who have decent internet right now. So the state will pay for the line to get to the underserved, mm -hmm. but we can't use state money to connect <laughs> the overserved. So that's one of the reasons that... Right, so how do you keep track of that? Uh, by the address. They, when we submit our construction grant application, mm -hmm. We have to give them every address, in town. what they are, who they are, are they over certain, you know, are, they, are we running through... So you're going to give them E911 addresses and then he decides... They gave, they gave us the rules. So right, they, but who figures out who's the servant on They've already figured it out. They've already done that. Oh, okay. So the rules are one list of who's the other. Yes. Okay. All right, for example, West County Road. We have to run fiber up West County Road to get to the... Woodbury line. Right. Mm -hmm. So that fiber is going to go right by every house on West County Road. It's already figured as being served. It, even though they're served, we're going to get paid. Yeah. We're going to get paid to run that line. That's good. Yeah. But we're not getting money to connect those they houses. Up. They got to pay. Or they either have to pay up. Well, that's why one of the reasons, one of the suggestions I'm making is we use some of the uh, American Rescue Plan money to the. The CALIS subs subsidizes those connections. That'd be one idea. Yeah. The, not the underserved. Not the underserved. Well, the underserved, we can use state money to do that. Okay. Right. So we don't have. So we, it's the other households who might not be underserved, correct. but are like they're We're all going to outclass them once we yeah. And, they, and that's considered the served. Is that what they call it? They call it served. Yeah. yeah. So so you the the public monies you're receiving state and federal, I guess. Yeah. Mostly. Um, the trunk line or the backbone? Or no, the everywhere. No, I, should, I shouldn't have put that trunk line in there. Well, no, no, it, it'll cover that. It'll cover the spurs. And then they run down, say, my road, and then from the pole or the wire to the house, yep. even that will be if the connection in, yes. to the house. We're eligible to use our money for that. Wow. Um, we may so not have enough money. We may not have <laughs> enough money. <laughs> well, just get it outside my door. We'll go That's all you can. Yeah. Um, so, so the, we've estimated the cost to do calluses at about $4.2 million, including all the drops. The total cost of the project is $55 million. Wow. And we think we're going to get $30 million in state grants to do, you know, out of the $50 million, $55 million. So we'll be able, you know, and... Will the calluses share go down if you get more state? If we got... Um, that includes the infrastructure bill that just passed, that $30 million. Um, I don't think there's going to be any more grant money. So it's still going to be $4.2 million for Dallas? Correct. So and $4.2, and then I see connections is $1.5. That's from the pole to the house. To house. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. that that's, other But that's paid for. And some of it's paid for. I mean, that, that's the total bill to yeah. run connections no, to yeah, houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In what I heard you say is that those, those are eligible costs. Correct. But that's not the same as saying you have the money to pay for it. Right. Okay, so that's, is that where the ARPA funds come in? That's where they are. That's what I'm suggesting. I mean, it's your decision about what, how much you want to put in and how you, you can earmark it for how you want to spend. So, you can use it for, under, you know, disadvantaged people, elderly. Uh, you could use it for just town buildings or community buildings. But um, we don't have 4.2 million in ARPA funds to spend. No, you have 479,000, right. I believe. Right, we have a fraction. Or yeah. seven, yeah. So, so when you say connections 1.5 million, that is all connections or just the That's all red? connections. That's all connections. That's all connections. So that's 800 and what? Yeah. 800 and what? 896. 896. So I guess what drove this discussion tonight because we haven't, you know, we have. I, fin I finally got the ARPA stuff <laughs> into the U.S. Treasury thing. What a nightmare! That what a nightmare! Was. You're right. Um, 
and then we got to go back in and three weeks, Bonnie said, and do something else because we plan to do some kind of a public meeting or a right. survey or something like that. So I feel like you know you're asking for this money, and there's some kind of a September deadline. So that that's the benefit. And that's what, and that's there's what a matching program tonight. The matching program is um, <coughs> the state will match a one for one, and the match money they give. CV5 with TR money is earmarked for CALIS. So if you put in 200,000, the state's going to put in 200,000. So there's 400,000. Yeah. So that's $400,000. on average 60,000. Yeah, yeah. Middlesex put in 100. Uh, really? Um, East Point Pillar is up and down. I'm not sure what East Point Pillar is doing. Okay. So, so can we got, maybe finish. I, I want to make sure I understand. You asked the question that he answered, but it wasn't. <coughs> <coughs> so Denise said in addition. So the, right, in addition to the thirty million? The thirty No. I don't I, I guess it gets confusing with who's giving how much money. Correct. And who gets do you money? Saving five is gonna get thirty million dollars right now. With, without we, any match. Without any match. If we right. get the match, we can get whatever the towns give us plus a match from the state of Vermont. So which we're eligible to one. We're up, yeah, and we're up to 1.6 million. So, you're so right now we're 350,000. Out of the out of the 1. the eligible amount of 1.6 million. And each district is eligible for this one so, point. Uh, it's two. proportional. We're 10 percent of the the state. So the state's the state's total budget, in addition 16 to 16 million, I think. In addition to uh, the third, so you got 30 million that's coming from the state to CV. Five. Over time, over a four-year period. In addition, the state has said they will match for the state as a whole. Sixteen million. They'll match sixteen million. And CV fiber is one point six yeah. million of which is earmarked for CV fiber, for CV fiber right. but you have to generate. You have to generate the right. That's right. why. So and that's why you're asking us and every town for as much as they can. You know, right. well, want to give well. How many towns would that 1.6 be divided over? The whole state. Ballpark. No, the 1.6. How many towns would CB5 are serving? We have 21 towns. And we're going to be serving 16, 17. Really? We're not going to serve on page. Oh. Okay. So how what anyway, is, okay. what is the allocation per town if it was if the one point but one point oh. six divided by yeah, one point six divided by sixteen, seventeen? Yeah. So that's like a thousand. Hundred thousand, and we're not going to get any town that has a water sewer. We're not seeing any. <laughs> Barry, Barry Town, uh, even Cabot. Oh, well, we got fifty thousand dollars from Cabot, even though Cabot has water sewer, all kinds of problems. Yes. Well, they got a little industry. What What do we have in our Arco bank, Denise? We're we're, we're we're going to have four seventy nine, six sixty seven, or <laughs> something like that. So why can't we just don't do what Middlesex did? What are, how much did you do? A hundred. The equivalent size. We haven't had your meeting yet. Because so, we said we would have a process. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And that's and my problem. I don't really have a problem doing it. We just need to. We, need, we, we can't do it without the process. I mean, so I did, so the, the deadline is really the state's deadline. We need to schedule probably a separate select board meeting okay. to yeah. invite people to come in and, make this and talk to us about what they think is an important well, use of the art funds. Yeah. And we've had so, several different requests, which I've been keeping track of. Yeah. You know, there's and a lot of people, mean, and some of us people are only asking so for So for the sake of the process, if we could arrive at a, like, a number that the select board is thinking about and then let people shoot at that rather than have yeah. any number under the sun, I can see this process going well, and the select board's eyeball and this number do you think is high or low? Okay. Okay. Well, so I've been keeping a spreadsheet of the requests that we received and how much they yeah, are asked for, and you know, there's some places that serve like Twin Valley Senior Center is, is asking for some money, which I would of course not vote on. But you know, we have six towns, and they're asking each town for a certain amount of money, and this is what they're going to use it for. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of thing that I think we need to yeah, we to need to have out. ready. And have say, have we have a list of the requests we've received, how much, 
what its intended use is for and what, you know. So we should have something to go by and we just shoot in the dark. Well, so, but we, but you have the list of requests. They, and some of them are for all of it. Mm -hmm. So that so we're going to have to make a judgment about how the pie gets cut, yeah. and right. that to me is a can I finish? Yeah, yeah. thank you, yeah. No, I know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, so to me, that is a working session here, mm -hmm. and it would be public, where we just that's not the hearing. No, we, we work on it. We say hold your horses. We're right. working on it. We're going to we're what we're doing in public is creating something for people to react to. Right. right, and right. then we Instead have a hearing. Like everybody coming at us, well, why not that? Why well, we'll get that after, but we have to right. know where we are starting, yeah. and there's nothing we can. Well, we have to know how much we've already been. What have, what have people already requested? Right. This is our total amount. Um, what did the respond to mention? I think they wanted thirty. Oh, okay. And then and then ECCT had a request. No, I mean that. Okay. Um, hey, let me make sure that. Did you ask your question? You're doing it. No? Okay. I'm you want to be polite. Do you want to be polite? It doesn't come down. I was going to say, I just really did it. I should just keep power. Let me understand. So, $55 million is the cost of. The, to build the whole network. In cows. No, no. The whole thing. The cows is $4.2 million. Correct. The CB Fiber District is $55 Okay. And so, if we. If we. Well, we can't match no, you have six to, million anyhow. Yeah. So I guess that's that's kind of my global question is you know if you were to and maybe the materials you I don't know, I got the materials too late for yeah. them to be here tonight. What I would really appreciate, David, is if Calus is four point two million as the total cost. What in your board's mind is how four point two million? Where does that money come from? Is kind yeah, of I mean, a global question. I right? mean, I'll tell you right now. I mean, if Calus is in the, I mean, it's all going to be paid for either with grant money or we're going to go into the bond bank and finance the rest of it. So the subscription rates are going to be based on a business model out of ten years. So it tells so us what us being subscri subscribers. Right. Okay. Which is so like accessibility. Right. So right. Yeah. to the extent yeah. that we don't have to borrow money. And it's grants, then the subscription rates are not straight. I mean, it so be it's a it's yeah. a it's a sort of a weird thing in terms of. I know John's really on it. So so I'm just thinking, you know, this is just kind of bare bones. Give me this point. I, we're going to need to have, in our, at least in our mind's eye, a priority scheme. And you know, if you remember the conversation at the select board, um, yeah, that when our former clerk and treasurers brought up the issue of not having high-speed internet and, and the conversation that ensued with Comcast wanting to suck us dry. And anyway, um, so we've committed, we've said we want this as, and we've recognized this as important to the function of the town. Um, I see the main trunk lines going right past the town office, so this could be a little easier, but if we want to see this happen, for the town government's sake, I think that's, that's a high priority and it remains a high priority. We, we did defer, we did say we're not going to spend the 70, whatever, whatever, whatever 100, 100, 70,000, under 100 um, on Comcast because we're going to invest in this instead. And that makes more sense. It's community owned and all that. And so now, so we made a commitment there. We walked away from that. We've moved to this. David's invested all his time. I think he was chair or president or something, too. <clears throat> I really think that that gets a higher priority than, I'm sorry, the other 20 nonprofits that come to us and they want some money. The other thing is, um, I, I, I feel like that we are, in terms of equivalency, we talked earlier about middle sex being equivalent and we have 45 less people than we do. Population-wise, I think the incomes are more or less the same. I, I think I would argue this town is a little bit more money overall. Um, so I, I think that we should have, in our mind's eye, a hundred thousand dollar note. Is that what anyway, that's what Middlesex gave, but then that may be short of what we should commit. And it's also, I, so Middlesex has the same number of households more or less. Yep. 
Um, so I just think that's and it, but an benchmark. That's a good benchmark. Yeah, that's an yeah. expensive benchmark. Yeah. And then I think part of what we can do as a board, we can we can like maybe rank yeah. things, yeah. and then you know, Bonnie yeah. has a ranking sheet set yeah. up for, oh, okay. for month for mm -hmm. of funding for towns. So I don't know how. Okay, then they to help you, to help you. So, so, so we're shooting, David. I know you're trying to be, you know, careful about, you know, ask over ask. I'll take it all. Uh, I yeah. think what well, I just really need to say, this is what we would like, in, including for Middlesex. It would have been great if they gave us, if across these towns, based on their different populations yeah. and their the need, um, if you came up with the optimal number so we could get the optimal yeah. amount per town, I can that would be good and we could know how much we are short we're coming of it. And I can tell you, in, in, I feel. in Middlesex, they already have a third of their town has fiber. <laughs> so they're ahead of us. So they're from Consolidate. And so they have fewer houses oh. and they gave the 100K. Oh, that's, that's uh, really So cool. this is a different idea. The fact is, but I'm, I'm willing to give you the... the but fact where did that 100 number come from? Is that, should, would it... What would be with that hundred? You're going to get the town of Calus is going to get two hundred from you know the other. No, he means Middlesex. Where do they get? Well, what would be a, what is a fair number for Calus as compared to the Middlesex? Maybe well, Middlesex. I don't, you, you're going to have to figure that out. I think that's our job. And but, I, uh, but I don't want to go if you go back to COVID and the pressure that households were on there. Not having bread. Right. Mm -hmm. right. It was, it was painful. Yeah, it was really. Well, awful. you're saying we have to figure out. You're our representative. Yeah. So I, I would like advice from you. What you think is a, the optimal number? The optimal and number. You, can, you want to know? Yeah. Two hundred. Okay. That's what I want to know. Yeah. And I know how cheap we are. Two hundred, David. Why do you know that? That's that's. And maybe right. we can do that because we'll still have two hundred. I'd like to know that too. Two hundred. You know, even you know, I'm, I'm thinking about what people are going to react to. The Correct. If is it possible to give some idea of what that? You know, monthly rate looks like to the subscriber. So if we put this much in, if we put that much in, yeah. you know, how that will impact that? Can we see? No. I mean, so the people. Well, I can show a little bit. Well, it's not going to be perfect, but yes. No, I don't mean. Yeah. yeah. You know, if we can get a range of and, and what the cost can be for on a monthly basis for people, that's yeah. something. People and and we're working to. on a um, a plan, an equity plan to subsidize. And so, yeah. so is what okay. you're asking kind of what I'm thinking? Whatever we don't, whatever doesn't get financed through ARPA, state, whatever, blah, 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 is going to go to the bond bank. Right. So do you have, so it would be good to have like a number, maybe you guys have done this, but if you had to go to the bond bank for a million dollars, what's the subscription good. What the cost going to be? be yeah. what, does your do, what does your dollar make? Impact right. The so, because you know, some people, you know, they're not going to be able to so, afford. Yeah. Let me finish. Let me yeah, go ahead. The subscription. Right. So, how do we make that affordable? That and if we have the more money we have to borrow, the less affordable yeah. it's going to be, right? That's right. So, it would be good to have some kind of an idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'll, right. I'll come back with a sheet. That yeah, shows be great. Great. I think folks need to be mindful. If I got this right. Calus cost is not 4.2 million. It's 4.2 plus 1.5 if we do all right. the connections. That's it. Yeah. And if you take the one, just the connection amount, and again, those are the underserved people, and you divide that over the number of houses, 539, mm -hmm. it comes to 1674 dollars per household. Yeah. So if you just look at, yeah. I'm looking at that 200 thousand dollar number in terms of the overall scheme. Mm -hmm. 200 thousand doesn't even get us the connections. So we're way short of what this cost is. So I think 200 is like. How did you? I I came up with some. I took it's 1650. Like you got the number. 1674. Mm -hmm. I took 1.5 million mm -hmm. and I divided it by 539. And those are all the connections that are. You know, so the other people have high speed. So there's oh, that's at minimum what we want to subsidize if possible. Yeah. Or they're going to be on the hook for 1674 dollars. Um, Good point. Just to get connected, even though the wire is outside their house. So over, that's over. That's over the ten years or whatever. So if you amortize it, right? Is that a, what do you get? I get twenty-seven eighty. One point five million divided by five hundred. Divided by eight ninety-six. Uh huh. Divided by eight ninety-six. Okay. Okay. So David, see, I think 
this is probably going to be the biggest part of whatever we do for our is, is this piece of it? So you've kind of heard the questions yeah. no, that I we've don't. asked and trying to understand the information because you you live and breathe it and we don't. So I know the range of questions that need so the, to be. Well, so then, so it's kind of the questions that we've asked to put it down on some kind of a yep, paper, simple. simple, so that when we're having our working sessions it's and then our meeting, yep. We can say to people, here's the here's the it's a trade -offs. right, and then I guess the other part of this, you're talking about serving the town office, but what did what did we just do in Kent Corner <laughs> to serve the town office that I asked about an invoice? So and, did you get a chance to read my email? No. Okay. Do you want to? Let's, let's finish. Okay. This now I guess is that two separate? I want to know the answer. That's yeah. a great question. You got the answer too, didn't you? Yeah, you're kind of too busy. I haven't checked. Um, I don't know what to do. Something. So, in one way, we lucked out. In one way, we didn't luck out. Uh, the original proposal, I don't know, Sharon, if you were here. <laughs> no, she was. Yeah, she was. She was. Um, the town appropriate, 30, you said 35000 in the email. Was it 30? I thought it was 30. No, it should be in the minutes, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> um, to run uh, Velco and Washington Electric. We're running a fiber from East Montpelier substation to the mm -hmm. Naval Corona substation, and we begged them to run it right. from Kent Museum down to here. Right, and I keep asking, is it done? Where's our invoice? And so, right, good question. Mm -hmm. So when I found out that what they were running, this is only about five months ago, that the fiber that Velco is running is not connectivity fiber. Then what? It's just middle mile fiber that goes from substation to substation. And so I, they ran um, the company they hired, Crossbow. They did run the, the metal strand from Ken Connor to this pole here. So it's ready for fiber, but it didn't get put up. But that's not what they promised to do. They were never going to, they were going to run fiber, but we had no idea. We didn't have our engineering done. Barry and, and we were all excited about getting you fiber, getting you served. Right, I mean that's why we came up with this actually. Correct. Right. And so in terms of the I would say you can now that I've opened the can of worms because you asked for an invoice, I asked Elko to tell me what it was. They paid for it. So, so we don't we don't have anybody so we don't have somebody. Well we probably owe somebody Fifteen thousand dollars. But see, my point for is, what? We, for what? And that wire that goes that we don't have to just the wire to hang stuff on. Yeah. So that is the hardest part: is getting from pole to pole to pole. But so we still don't have what we were hoping to get. Correct. No so thing you thing can bail on this support wire. It's a support wire for the fire. So we can bail on it on what grounds? Well, I mean, they didn't finish the project. I did, they never had a contract with the town or CV yeah. fiber. They were working for Velka for WEC. And if I hadn't stopped the project about January when they were still working, <laughs> we would have made a big mistake. But why didn't anybody tell us? Oh, I didn't to come. So, no, I mean, I've, I've offered to come many months. <laughs> yeah. So we have, so we don't have an invoice. We don't have an invoice. And we don't owe anybody anything. It, but are we? But you said we're. What we're doing is WEC is going to have to fit, fit the bill. I don't know who's going to fit the bill. My, okay, so my. We'll see what happens. Okay, I mean, so it, it worst comes where CB Fiber will pay the bill okay, because the, we need that strand. But we uh, yeah. we we budgeted for that in this fiscal Correct. year. We yep. did not budget it going forward in the next fiscal year. And so year. she did her due diligence today. So, David, where's the invoice? If we don't have an invoice to pay in this fiscal yeah, year, then we don't lose good. Then, you know, the money stays in the house. save the taxpayers money. Yeah. Shut up. Sure. And say the other, no, I mean, I'm going to explain this. It's sort of complicated, but I'll try to make it simple. Yeah, make it like I'm, like I'm, you no, know, spoon No, CD Fiber is a municipal entity right. created by a statute that says we cannot get town tax money. Right. So but when you were going to right. go through WEC, it's we didn't really care. Right. You know, we're not a utility. We're, we're, we're a municipality, but the statute says and WEC is we're not allowed right. to use the property tax base to finance the construction. Right. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. And so that's why this thing's it's a little problematic for you to pay CB5 of this. 
fiber yeah. would be okay, you'd be using right. town tax money. Oh, I right, see. So that's why we would be taking. Oh, so that's yeah. why we would so we be taking Vel Velcro or wet. So what you get? I mean, if Velcro sent you a bid invoice, you know, I don't. Yeah. Any well, other? I only I only emailed you and Bill. Were you on the email? This and John, and Sandra, right. Sandra has said over and over, we need to get an invoice for right. it. And so it's like, okay, I'm doing my due diligence, telling you guys what you I'm going on. Do you we did. want? Do we? we we're running right. way over. Yeah. I have a question for the group though, because it'll inform David's um, the item that he pro is promising us. So do we want? Do we want to at least pencil in our minds when? We would want to have our work session, yeah. which I'm I want to do it in July. In July. July. So that, uh, okay, so we do it September first is the deadline. Right. right. So, so July. July. I want to. I think we need to. I don't know if we're going to have time to do it as part of a regular work meeting. It's a problem. Well, our regular meetings in July are on the 11th and the 25th. Um, so we could either start early. Well, let's let's not. We don't have to go there yet because we don't have a full agenda for. July 11th. Not yeah. yet. Well, yeah. well, but but let's let so let's just that that's what I wanted to I wanted to hear from the group. It is if we do if we if we plan on a work session on July 11th, then we'll have to figure out when when we get closer to building our agenda or you know within a week or a meeting or two of it hmm. whether we can actually do it on the 11th or do we need to do a separate. A separate time because I think we already talked about something else and we do it. Yeah, I think we can announce for the 11th. We can, but 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 just for us to know that. So David, that means that your your um, one one or two page outline of of exactly you know I think you're it, you know, see some of, see some of the numbers that we are talking about tonight and maybe you'll build them out a little bit. I would ask that you get those to us. If we're going to, let's assume we're going to do this on July 11th, by July, um, the no, June. Assume in June, I think. So in June is great. By the end of June. Yeah, by the end of June. And, you know, kind of dub it down as much as possible <laughs> so people like me will understand it. Well, but, but the numbers, Everybody's be, the right. numbers need to be smart. Right. Yeah. No, they need to break. I'm not asking to make the numbers up. I'm just asking to make it really simple for people to understand. Just so that, I mean, we got something to equate what investment would it be make yep. right into how much right. money you know, I, or not. Can we do an advisory vote? Or, uh, I'd like to put on record that we're, we're toying with the $200,000 number subject to public input. Yeah. You just said it. You just said it and yeah. you expressed it. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I was thinking of both of us. And, and, uh, I won't. I won't do that. I won't okay. do that. All right. No, but you it's did. First but you've got it. I think we're. I think we can say the board. We heard the request. We, we heard. The, we heard the suggestion of mm -hmm. carving out two hundred thousand. Okay. I would in, in your one pager that you're going to send us. It's going to mention this two hundred thousand, maybe. Yeah. Um, it would be good to have some. What that means. Yeah, where did it come right. from? Mm -hmm. Right, and what it means. Not something David. And, and, and to be clear, clear, the two hundred thousand for the minutes. Would come out of ARPA money, right. which we have a subtotal amount of four hundred and seventy nine, seventy nine, six sixty seven. So, just so if the That's public right were to read it and say, "Oh my God, that crazy select board did they go again spending two hundred thousand? Thinking about spending two hundred thousand dollars on our tax dollars? That's not what we're proposing. Mm -hmm. It would be less than half of the ARPA money." Right. And um, you know, and we may when we do our working session, and we have two fifths the right. chart that I'm working on, and I'll ask Bonnie too. Yeah. Um, you know, we may say there's money left. Yeah. And we may be able to do more, yeah. which right. is fine. Right. Right. Okay. Um, so we're just trying to make this a we're just trying to make this a really open yeah. public yeah. process so people because people hear about this money on the news they and it's like, yeah. well, what did my town do with it? Right. Yeah. And we want to make sure people have an opportunity to, to speak well, up. We don't want to lose access to that one-to-one -one match. Right. Um, right. If you do it in July, it's so fine. Not be processed silly. And we, we, we have already got a lawyer drafted up an agreement. Right. That, right. That would go to you guys. Okay. To, well, and I think for, for what you just said, we're going to have a working session for the board on July 11th. We'll have some okay. of this information. Mm -hmm. And then we'll schedule a public hearing. Yep. And, you know, we might have... Ten people, we might have a hundred. Yeah. Um, depending on okay. what's out there. Yeah. And 
And the more the and, public can die just before they come, so we're right. just spending out having with questions. Of, well, I think we could post some stuff on the website. Yeah. And good, new, good new task for the new yeah, primary yeah, yeah, website yeah. master. But, you know, I think when we, when we meet as a board to go over this, schedule a public meeting, you know, we have to say any request for consideration has to be received by the select board by right. such and such a date, so that if we have more money available, we can match it by September 1st. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we can say right now, if, if we're able to hold our meeting by July 11th, we will be looking for input by, by the end of June. End of June. Yeah. If we're able to schedule our work group. I just made that up, but like, right. well, well, June comes before July. Still does? Yeah. What did I just say? You said July. If we have our you work said by June, end of June, we know what we're at, something like that. If we have our work groups session by July 11th, we will, we will want, we would, we will be asking for any input that we don't already have by the end of June. June. So we have it for a working group. In June, we have our working group meeting on July 11th. Put I, stuff together, schedule the public what did meeting. I, what did I miss about what you said? I don't know. I heard you saying, Denise, that we want to have people, we, we might have a deadline by which we ask people to bring ideas right, forward. So, right, and that we would schedule the public hearing for, say, August 8th, if it's going to be part no, of the that's, No, he's getting very yeah. nervous. Yeah, so, <laughs> no, no. I'm getting nervous when you've been talking no, about it. No, yeah, so, so we need to, so, so we, yeah, so we, yeah, so we, we don't have, I, I'm slightly looking at David's face, which matches what I kind of heard from you. The, a working, so we may need to be thinking about a working session in June. Well, that's what I'm thinking. If you're looking to have something done by July, we're not, if we don't even have a working group of the board until July 11th, that's not going to work. Did we say July 11th, though? For the working, the board working sessions. I, I know. Well, okay. So, so that's not going to work. So you're talking about soliciting ideas by the end of June. That's what I was. the ideas. That's what I was. Okay. That's what right. Oh, the, the list of ideas that, that I'm talking about that I was working on. Yeah. Okay, that list, yes, by June. I'm talking about when we have a public hearing and we hear from people that say, well, what about this other great cause? Well, and I'm going to have to have, have a deadline for that. And yeah, we're going to have to. So I'm imagining it. I'm imagining a place where we say, sometime here, we say out loud, hello people, if you haven't given us a thought on the money, right. we really want to have that before we have our work session, so that, before we have our work session, Denise, where, so that when we go to a hearing with the public, we've at least made the request that pre people put all the ideas forward in case there's something out in the woodwork that hasn't come forward yet, that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So that when, so that we think that when we, you know, draw our pie and start dividing up our thoughts about it for the public to react to at the hearing, we've made a, kind of a last call request, which doesn't mean when people come to a hearing they are perfectly free to say, "Hello, I have a new idea. Please consult." Well, that's why I want to be sure. Of course they can, but we can still yes. say, "Please don't do that to us. Please bring things forward earlier than at the public hearing," which is when we're hoping that will get your reaction to mm -hmm. how we kind of, you know, weighted things instead of a bunch of new ideas. That's so, what I'm All right, about. okay. Does that make sense? sense? Well, along with that would be, like, like we asked, we would have enough detail to actually make a good weighted decision. Well, yeah. just by having this conversation, if people are reading the minutes and following us, they'll hear, oh, the well, select board wants to make sure that okay, they so I'm thinking know about ideas. That, and I'll check with Bonnie to see if she's got any thoughts. Of posting something on front porch forum, letting folks know that we need, if they have ARPA fund requests, that we need to receive them by June 30th. Our working group meeting is the 11th. Our select board working meeting is the 11th. So, and that will be, and then maybe at the next meeting, what we need to do, when, when are we meeting again? I can't remember. June 13th it's turned into a pumpkin. June 13th. On, a June, time to be done, huh? on June 13th, we need to. What we need to do then is weigh out this timeline and right. work all this stuff. Yeah. All right. Okay. Whew. Okay.
Yeah, we we Thank crossed you. the line here. We yeah. Passed. Thanks, David. <laughs> Thank you. Well, David. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, David. All right. So I'm, well, I saw the three pages. I'm not going to say, say anything more about that invoice. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The, the reason there was a three page agenda, we miswarned the last meeting. Oh. So the items we voted oh. on, we had to re vote on. So they all got republished. Oh. This is actually the only oh. item that we've given more, more time to than we've done. Than That's we, 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 This is our pattern. We we get too tired, and and the last item always goes wrong. Well, yeah. I think sometimes the last item is. We've been like, waiting for really, this item. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. thank it's you. a really important item. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, David. You've been awesome. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your work. Great advocate. Okay, so yeah. no, I want to make sure I don't want to not go through what's coming up. So today is the 23rd. Our first meeting is the 13th. So this is only five Monday month. We have two weeks before our next meeting. See you, guys. See you, Rainy. Um, Hi, Rainy. Hi, Rainy. On the on the curb cut, um, I want to just let everybody know that. Stephanie, Stephanie Kaplan, chair of the Conservation Commission, saw this item on our agenda, mm -hmm. yeah. and I talked to her about it too. You talked to her, I know, yeah. and and so they are actually interested in providing input on the curb cut um, ordinance mm -hmm. and Good. our application and Good. whatever, which is great, it. which is great, which I think unfortunately means that. that Slows us down. It slows us down, but it'll be more thorough. Let's I think I think having their input will be really mm -hmm. helpful. Yeah, especially when we're talking about are you going to cut this or set like distances or this right. does, this does not just have to be about you know Ashdow engineer. This right. Is, this no. Is right. I'm no, good with that. I like this. She really okay. had. She has some thoughts about actually doing what we've talked about a lot and have not been able to really land. Which is the how do we integrate road maintenance, curb cut, you know, all of the stuff that relates right. to travel with environmental stewardship. So mm -hmm. they're willing to take a lead, and I actually and I asked her would she also review the curb cut ordinance and statute for us as a courtesy, as you know, she's an attorney, and just like pick out or does it need mm -hmm. to be updated here and there? So. Anyway, so, so they're going to work on all that. They're going to work on all of that. So that will come off for the 13th. I might pump, bump it into like the last meeting in July to give them time. July or June? No, July. Because they only meet once a month. Exactly. And they already, they already, they already met on the 18th. So I'm figuring they're probably not going to meet again until around the 15th. I need to talk to Stephanie. I'm just going to so, like, you know, put it in the second meeting of June as a placeholder. June or July? July, July, July 25th, that would be then. Okay. I'd love to work with them on that too. Well, Can give her a call, call but she'd love to have you. Well, yeah. especially if they have a, they, you know, their meetings are public, you can. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I can yeah. work with Stephanie. Um, we yeah. want to, we want to, uh, we want to meet with Jeremy next week, next meeting, just because it's been a while since we've yeah, really connected with him. Um, so that'll be June 13th. Mm. Mm -hmm. We are. We have a, a couple. We have a couple of consent agenda items. Are we going to have a right away application? But is that going to be? Yes, I talked to Ryan. I talked to Ron Thompson today. Okay. He and I had the training phone calls. I'm trying to. I didn't bring that with me, but I think it can be on the June. I think it'll be. I think it'll be ready for June 13th. Um, J. A. McDonald. It's a little complicated. J.A. McDonald's involved. It's really wet doing, it's really for a wet conduit. J.A. McDonald's doing the work. The property owners are Ron Thompson and then his daughter That's across right. the street, Sylvia. Right. So they need to sign the application because it's really, because it's their property. Right. It's not J.A. McDonald's property. Mm -hmm. You know, REC probably te technically has the right of way. So it may, so anyways, I, I worked on it some today, but I got to finish what is, okay. you know, the, I, the, I haven't heard, I know I've talked to Ron a few times, two or three times on that whole thing. We don't need to talk about it substantively. We need to get, I'll you and I talk. we need to get a good compliant application and so it can be on the agenda and here's like, we might be able to do that. Okay. Uh, a couple of meetings ago, the group authorized me and Denise to work on a third party payroll solution and we were making really good progress. I'm, 
We are making good progress. I am excited. Um, yeah, so that I really yeah. want to uh, keep. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. yep. We're going to vote. Good. Um, Let's get that going. Yeah, but we have to. Mm -hmm. um, task for a well-functioning board. We keep carrying this, but Denise, I think this really ties into getting a job description for a select board assistant because so much of what you do is kind of behind the scenes is the stuff mm -hmm. that I'm hoping that... I have a list. You do? <coughs> do you want to send it around to everybody? I do. Let, let's do that. Yeah, and that's the place to start, right? Yep. Yeah, Rick, great. are you going to be ready to talk about speed cards next meeting? Should. I've got okay. quite a bit of information now. The yeah. questions on that is... I mean, what I can kind of give us a cost, but the budget-wise, I mean, do we want to make a decision as to you know, where we're going to take that from? Or where we I think that would be, I would encourage you to make that part of your proposal. Well, I don't know going. where we're going to, I mean, we can, that but, depends on what our overall obligations are. You know, for this coming year, we're taking a lot of Can you work with Alfred and Toby on seeing where it might fit? I, I mean, I'm just, just recognizing that if we have that discussion here, we're going to end up spending an hour, half, yeah, I'm going to say half. But, at least you know, the problem is that that's, say, in the transportation budget. Yeah. So, you know, that's it's, maybe or maybe not. In it's a tight budget. budget. It may be that you guys with Sharp Council say, you know what, it really isn't here, and that we have to carry it as a proposal for the next year's budget. Are we all, are we have a, enough money to buy one sign? Something, yeah. Do what year? Yeah. But we don't want to. We don't want to be looking for the money here. So ten and ten years. Toby knows the budget and Al as well and as we do, right? Well, I'm just thinking. You know, I have a couple things. Hang on, on that. No, speaker. no, we're doing a lot of detail here, and this is supposed to be the future. We're having our exactly. discussions right. I just want to. I'm my, not trying to, to be safe. Are we going to be ready, or are we not going to be ready? Um, DRB reappointment is a non is a non issue, and then right. we flagged a couple of issues. I think tonight I have one to add for June 13th. Okay, unless we don't have to do it, um, it is officially you know, formally or officially whatever you word you want to call it to reopen the upstairs for um, non municipal use. Okay, I think the board should officially say yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So John, thank you. Yeah, what we're trying to do here is just say yes, I'm going to be ready. No, I'm not going to be ready. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and then we're also going to talk about on that um, that meeting an agenda item in the use of the town office for meetings. Yes, thank you. Oh, yeah. good. Right. I knew there was yeah. something. Um, it's a good thing you and I are both keeping a list. And with make make it clear, it's when the clerk's office after the clerk's office hours. Or how about we say town office for evening? Right, evenings. I don't want. Evening meetings. Evening and Friday. I mean, they're not there on Fridays. Evening well, Fridays because okay. evening Fridays weekends. But Jeremy sometimes clerks like crazy. Outside right? their regular hours. Right. Outside. Outside their regular hours. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Anything else that's on people's minds for the next meeting? And mm -hmm. then I would ask you to please kind of look ahead to some of the other items that yeah. are in our queue. Yep. Um, all right. Are we? Do we want to go into executive session for? Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I think not. I think everybody's had enough. Okay, so uh, is there a motion to adjourn? Yes, so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, 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 Lisa